Hi, Mark here from the Tangibound Podcast Network and host of the flagship show, The Tangibound Podcast. Did you know that we over at Tangibound are always looking for amazing podcasts to promote? And did you also know that we are also proud nerds and geeks of everything from movies, music, gaming, TV shows, and comic books to wrestling, MMA, soccer, and football? Whatever you can nerd or geek out about, we've got it. And if you're interested, we can help you find it. And if you're a show looking for a place to call home, we've got you covered. Side effects may include upset stomach, dizziness, tumors, shakes, and in some rare cases, death from excessive laughter. Though to be fair, it's only sometimes. Other side effects may include diarrhea, gallstones, heart palpitations, and strong desire for cookies on the dark side. Talk to your doctor and visit TangiboundNetwork.com and see if Tangibound Network is right for you. Hello, and welcome to the Moving the Needle podcast, where we ask, what moves you? Excellent or bogus? Did anyone do the right thing? Do you mess with the Zohan? With me tonight to discuss do the right thing, Rocky versus Creed, childhood guilty pleasures, a test of time, you don't mess with the Zohan, once upon a time in Hollywood. With me tonight is Stephanie. Hello. Roy. Hello. And Hanno. Yo, we want to thank you for listening on iTunes. We're also available on Spotify. Just about everywhere you can find podcasts, we are. So come on now, Google Let Play. Let us know. Email us at mtnpodcast at gmail.com or, or on facebook.com slash mtnpod. Twitter and tweet us at mtnpod. There's so many ways to find us. To the podcast from Temperance Town, the sexiest podcast of world renowned. Tony grows a beard to hide his chin, swaps it with Earl, so it glistens. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. Download the pod, you won't get enough of these dapper chaps talking deadly fluff. In Hobo Gulch, they run a homeless mission, clanging and banging with the pentagram of kittens. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. They enjoy their whiskey and local craft beer. By Odin's on Campubis, we give a cheer. Tony's a raccoon when he's booziest. Don't be a savage, be an enthusiast. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. On the frozen tundra, they call it a lock. Tony likes to masturbate in a sock. Brian pisses rocks cause it feels so great I still don't know who the fuck is Tate Salty, salty language Kings of the sexy frontier The boys will let you know when there's a Due to male pattern baldness They don't wear curlers Stay salty people, that's their closing line And don't forget Have a beer, you'll be fine Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. Salty. Enthusiasts, what's happening? This is Salty Language, episode 508. The sexiest podcast on the network. Isn't that a Levi thing? What's the Levi thing? Five, oh, those are 501s. Yeah, 501s. Totally this Levi reference. Yeah. Damn it. Dang it. Yeah. Now we, now we got to wait until we roll the <laughs> scoreboard over and get the 501 again. Is it 1501? Or or actually, here's what we'll do. We'll just, you know, volume two will be next week, and then we'll just go back to 501. <laughs> nice. I, I like it. Season two, episode five. I, I totally should have done one. that. I should have done that. <laughs> like season two, you know, <laughs> for like our, uh, for this episode or the five Oh one should have been season two, episode one. I mean, you know, I'll freak out. People see when it says episode one to be like, what? And then they do a little more investigating. <laughs> oh, season two. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, after 10 years, it's <laughs> season two. It's a really long season. Long season. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
The American TV the shit out of it. Yeah, no shit, dude. Good lord. I know, right? I remember when they used to do like no breaks in a season, but then they started doing the mid season break, and that was annoying enough. Have you noticed yeah. now there's some shows that do more than that? Like they break the season into like thirds sometimes now? Yeah, I don't really entirely understand why. Yeah. Well, I do like, like entertain I can, me. I can understand you like dancing monkeys. <laughs> I can understand skipping a week sometimes because like, what was it? Yeah. I think I read, um, was it a week or two ago? American Idol wasn't on Sunday night because it was the same night as the, uh, Oscars. You know, that makes sense. Right. Oh boy. Can you hear me? All right. Jeez. It was like this on my screen. You're like, sometimes I wonder. And you're just looking off. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I'm like sitting here sitting like, what was he wondering? I was like, oh, shit, he froze up. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty awesome. So, take two. What were you saying? I, I was saying I can understand why they skip a week sometimes, you know, because like American Idol did that a week or two ago because the Oscars. They skipped the rest of their existence. Well, I know, but they skipped a week because the Oscars were on, which is totally understandable because most people, you know, turning that That's that, that sick-ass new Oscar to Grouch sitcom? Yeah, yeah. I'd watch it. Keeping up the with Oscars. the Oscars, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they all get ass in plans. Yeah, but you can't see them because they're all in garbage cans, so it's weird. That's true. They but... have to get bigger garbage cans, though, because them, them thick booties don't fit <laughs> yeah. in garbage cans. Yeah, you're right. No more of those uh, cheap garbage cans. Exactly. We had to upgrade. Do you think when Oscar Grouch's girlfriend's about ready to go down on him, she calls a dumpster dive? <laughs> You'd kind of have to unless he gets out of the garbage can, wouldn't you? I mean, I mean, I guess. Yikes. What a nightmare that that would have to be, too. Just the smell. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm gonna be ready to take out the trash. Oh. Like, like, does he? You know, like, if Thursday's garbage day, does he climb out of it until the, you know, let them empty his can and then get back in it? Uh, yeah, maybe. Because otherwise, yeah, that thing's what he, just that's gonna what he be goes on scores heroin. Yeah, that's fair. Well, because otherwise, it's like it's that's just gonna be full of everything. I mean, I I really picture Oscar to Grouch's garbage can. It's kind of like the TARDIS. Oh, okay. Bigger on you the know, inside. It looks like yeah. this small little thing, but you go inside and it's like it is a lavish, garbage filled mansion. Or it's just a whole universe in there. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. maybe. So maybe somewhere that. Works. Maybe there, the garbage can's a portal. There's somewhere that there's a universe where, like, just all day, just his lower half is dangling from, like, the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like... Maybe, maybe. Maybe the garbage can is like the mouth of a predator, and the Oscar the Grouch is, you know, like those fish that have like the little worms. Oh, I, I, I figured you were going to make an alien reference there. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Right. You know, so people are like, they go to talk to Oscar, and he just grabs them, and he's actually just getting sucked into a giant mouth. That's interesting. Yeah. That would be crazy. Yeah. Would be. yeah. Right? Huh. Yeah. I, I, want, I want some cool Oscar the Grouch fan fiction, guys. <laughs> I'm sure it exists already. I know it probably does. I'm not looking, but <laughs> I'm not looking either because who knows? Well, I don't want to see Rule 50 or was it Rule 34 of Oscar the Grouch? Yeah, I don't need him deep dicking some chicken in an alley. Right, exactly. Do you say deep yeah. dicking some chicken in an alley? Yeah, yeah. I don't he mean see, like he Gonzo. Seems like he's messed up enough. I was gonna say I don't oh, mean like oh he's cheating on Gonzo. <laughs> yeah, with Camilla. Oh, that ain't right. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> the outrage, the scandal. <laughs> Camilla, you whore. Oh, man. All of a sudden, Gonzo's got these weird sores on his nose, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> of course, it's on his nose. Yeah, well, that's that's his, you know, that's his uh, genitalia is his nose. Camila comes balking home just smelling like garbage juice. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Everyone knows what happened. You've been with that grouch again, haven't you? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, she, you know, boy. Gonzo just keeps trying to end it with his cannon, but just keeps doing cooler and cooler stunts. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's like, yeah, he's like, yeah. you guys don't understand. Yeah. 
<laughs> he becomes a a, a, a me seek that's been around too long. You know, like existence is pain. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, poor Gonzo. The the not so great Gonzo. Yep. Just saying. And he can't live out of a like. You know, he loses everything. He can't live out of a garbage can or something, though, because it just keeps bringing back too many bad memories. Well, true, true. You know. I mean, naturally. Well, he's got to live out of a, re- a recycle bin or something. Ooh. Yeah, at least at least the Wait. leave-ins in that will be, like, organic and... I haven't watched Sesame Street in a while. Really? Is there a recycle monster? I don't know. I mean, I feel like there should be, shouldn't there? I mean, like, I feel I like feel like Oscar... Oscar Grouch needs like a hippie brother that <laughs> lives in a recycle bin. <laughs> hey, hey, man! Yeah. You know <laughs> that doesn't go in here. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing, man? Glass goes over here, man. He sounds like Janice, I'm basically. Then from the yeah, like, electric very inspired mayhem. by like Cheech. Oh, I was thinking. Or, I'm sorry, Chong. Very inspired by Tommy okay. Chong, kind of. I was thinking yeah. Janice from uh, uh, the Electric Mayhem. True. You know? True. Like, hey man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think I think that's hilarious. Yeah. Why that should be a thing if it's not a thing. It might be. I don't know. I don't watch it. I so. I I, yeah, I haven't watched it forever. I mean, we could. It's on HBO Max. That's true. Yeah. Since I, they they. I'm just it. saying if. This episode comes out, and suddenly there's a hippie recycle monster. <laughs> we get owed our money. <laughs> Just saying. That'd be interesting. Right? There should be. You know, because, I mean, they, they fucked with Cookie Monster to where cookies are only a sometime food, which I think is bullshit. Straight bullshit. You know, if listen, like if that's like, I don't know, you, you know, it's like going up to a lion, going, "Hey, elk is only a sometime food." You know, exactly. the lion's gonna go fuck you, and he or he'll agree with you and eat you instead. You know, for sure. So it's like if you go to Cookie Monster and say, "Hey, cookies are only a sometime food," he should go. You know what? Maybe I'm a people monster now and just destroy you instead. <laughs> oh my god! Imagine Cookie Monsters. <laughs> This gets a taste for human blood. Yeah. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Yeah. Like strippers <laughs> named Cookie, look out. <laughs> oh, shit. Coming up next to the stage, double stuff. <laughs> stripper name. <laughs> I don't know. Might not be. <laughs> Depends on her act. I mean, let's see what, you know, let's see where this goes. <laughs> That's true. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Yikes. I mean, I can't think of uh, I can't think of a good cookie name that is a, would also be a good stripper name off the top of my head. No, Fudge Stripe. No, <laughs> <laughs> hard pass on Fudge Stripe. <laughs> yeah, you don't definitely don't want lap dances from Fudge Stripe. Oh God, no, no, not for wearing your good pants. <laughs> I mean, you know, cause you, like chocolate chip, nah, <laughs> peanut butter, no, molasses, oh god, no, oatmeal, come on. <laughs> I don't know the idea. Can you imagine coming to the stage, oatmeal raisin? <laughs> like what? <laughs> you like what? <laughs> no bake, no, no. And they go brand name, Chips Ahoy, uh, uh-uh. uh, no. Fig Newton. I mean, I can't even think of our brand Oreo. No. no, what's a good brand name cookie? I mean. I got nothing. Yeah. Nutter Butter. <laughs> Mint Milano. Mint Milano Mint sounds Mil- like a porn name, actually. <laughs> that does sound like a porn name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that really does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Just saying cookies and strippers. I think just going with the name. Cross. Just going with the name Cookie, I think, is the move. Cause... That, I mean, that is the move. Cookie Chris, maybe? I don't know. That could be weird. Yeah, fair enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Shortbread? No. <laughs> no, probably not. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. There's gonna be someone. Uh, hopefully, someone chimes in because there's got to be a cookie name out there. Sounds like this is the perfect stripper name. Yeah. I'm just not thinking about it. Right. 
What are those? Uh, and let's leave the Girl Scout cookies out of this. What are those ones that uh, are like the the tag along? Um, you talk about the fudge and robed peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, tell me that wouldn't get you a little. Uh, I mean, it does sound arousing. Yeah. You want to get in robed, boys? <laughs> By chocolate and peanut butter? I mean, it sounds all right. It does sound all right. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Uh-huh. Yeah, I got nothing. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. Well, let's yeah. move on from all that. I mean, you know, we get, we go we get nutty sometimes, Brian. Yeah. Like nutter butters. I mean, I do, I do love a nutter butter. Let's be honest. Yeah. They're pretty delicious. Mm-hmm. I don't like the fact they're shaped like uh, Mr. Peanut's corpse. Eh. But I do think they're delicious. So like you got to get those food markers, and then you you draw it on there, and like you just like you're eating his whole family. I mean, that would be kind of fun to do, like around Halloween, just make up a tray of, you know, dead and mummified Mr. Peanut. Yes. <laughs> Yikes. All right. Yeah. A little frosting, a little fondant. Nah, fondant sucks. Yeah, I was going to say, nah, yeah. skip the fondant. You like yeah. almost edible Play-Doh? Yeah. <laughs> well, Play-Doh's edible. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Maybe not palatable, but it's... <laughs> I can make it palatable. I'll, yeah. I'll rub some vanilla in it. Yeah. You know, S- sensually, a, of course. Put a little dry rub on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that's the right move. A little taco seasoning right on top of it. Taco seasoning, Perfect. Yeah, exactly. Mm-mm. Get a couple different colors of play doh, make it look like uh, you know, some like a pork shoulder put on a smoker. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Ugh. Delicious, disgusting. Man. No. I'm, yeah, probably. I think I'm good without that. But I mean, are you sure? Yeah. I'm taking yeah. it as the shark tank. You can jump on board. <laughs> Can I just? Uh, I'm just gonna go and not say anything. I'm just gonna go like sit in a chair off to the side while you give, give the presentation. It's gonna be. It's gonna be like now. Picture you know the consumer hit that is play doh, but now it's covered in dry rub. Right. <laughs> Four different flavors. <laughs> you like chili lime. You like mesquite. <laughs> like you know how kids are always eating play doh. <laughs> Well, we feel what if it was extra delicious. We feel it's time for adults to indulge as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've we've got our whole line of adult <laughs> dry rubs for play doh. Uh, yeah, dry rubs for play doh. Oh, it's disgusting. Or dry rubs and dry rubs and marinades. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's nothing better than a good brined chunk of play doh. Sure, right on the flat yeah. top. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sizzle get, it up. Get a mm. nice that nice crust on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Hit it with some finishing salts, which will be sold later, of course. Well, of course. Yeah. Delicious. I mean, <laughs> that's what, what the D here? stands for in Play-Doh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, delicious. <laughs> yes. Delicious. I love that. It's actually a great name for like a baked good truck or something. Yeah, it actually, I'm, it probably exists already. I'm probably stealing I mean, someone's idea. Nah, it's our idea. We said it. We got microphones in the internet. You're right. Just saying. Sweet. Sweetness. That's what we'll do too. We we, you know, and then we'll expand it to where it can be used on like donuts and stuff too. Right. Because who doesn't want a mesquite donut first thing in the morning? <laughs> I mean, dude, you like that smoky mesquite flavor? And who does Combined it? Combined a, a sugary diabetes <laughs> no, no, no. spike thing. You, no, no, you do it on like fried cakes instead. That I way mean, they're not actually, as sweet. That actually might not be terrible. Yeah, I was like, that way it's not as sweet, you know? <laughs> true, true. I mean, I, I, I'm i not mad at the thought of getting just like a plain fry cake and hitting it up full of dry rub and see what's up. <laughs> <laughs> You never ooh, know. Ooh, donuts. What kind are these? Uh, chili lime, mesquite. Yeah. Mesquite. <laughs> Southwest yeah, something. And habanero. Yeah, and habanero. Yeah, I was going to say, you got to have a hot one in there. You're right. Got to have a hot one in there. Yep. Uh, I saw somebody posted in one of the Twitter groups I'm in today. Showed It was a picture of, like, goldfish, but it said, like, Frank's Red Hot flavored. Oh, you mean, like, the cracker. Yeah. No, Not real like real pet. goldfish. No, real goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> no, those sound delicious. You know, you marinate them in that, and then... 
Yeah, you don't let them swim around water. Just ranked red hot. Oh, delicious! That way, anytime you want, yeah. you just pull one right out of there. A Dude, pe- I, from what I hear, they love it when that stuff goes right through the gills. Oh, I'm mm. sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Apparently, you get that deep flavor. It's a real thing. I thought it was, you know, nice. maybe somebody just screwing around on the internet, as people do, you know. But it Indeed. made sense. Like I could see people wanting those because, you know, look at all the flame and hot stuff out there. I mean, you're not wrong. Now that Frito Lay has basically made every chip that they have, um, flaming hot in a flaming hot variety. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm looking on. It's on. I'm looking on the Nerdist right now, and yeah, I'm looking I mean, to see if it says when cool. they'll hit a stores in. Edition. Yep, they'll hit stores in May. So we'll have to we'll have to keep our eyes peeled and see if we can get a hold of some of these for a sweet and salty language. I agree. What also, because cool I'm curious anyway. So, yeah, same. Franks. I mean, that's one of the hot sauces that is just like a, it's one of my universal ones because it's not super duper right spicy, but it's it's got just enough. I mean, I had some tonight on my food. Yeah, shit's delicious. And you had cereal. It was really weird. No. <laughs> Dude, you ever had Frank's Red Hot Cap and Crunch? <laughs> you know, as a just a general snack, <laughs> that might be okay. Yeah. Um, I'm just saying. Yeah. Oh, I got a, this is more of just for us. I mean, you know, as we jump around anyway, but so, you know, this past week, uh, you know, we hung out for, for yeah. a wee bit and, you know, had, Fucking had a good time. times, bro. Yeah. Went and got us some, some, uh, tacos at, at, uh, Luchador Tacos, which was fucking awesome. Yeah. I'm um, glad you enjoyed that. But so you remember, so I took my fries and that last taco home, right? Well, yeah. I grabbed one of those things on the table. Remember, I'm like, what is that? And you said it's salsa. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I got home and I was like, this doesn't look like salsa. So, you know, did the old pinky test, you know, dip the pinky in there and taste it. And I'm like, yeah, that's hot sauce. <laughs> I almost just dumped the whole thing all over my taco, which. How oh, hot was the hot it's sauce? It's not very hot, but it was, you no. know, that much of it would have been too much, you know, but. Gotcha. <laughs> I was laughing because I'm like, whoo, good thing I didn't. Because when I opened the container and I was like, there's no, like, onions, tomato, you know, there's no chunk of anything in there. And usually salsa's got some, you know, some veggies or whatever in it. So it was good, though. I I still ended up putting a good amount of it on the taco because it had a good nice. good taste. Their, uh, their green salsa, yeah. whatever you call that. I don't know it's got a name for it. Salsa Verde. Delicious. Yeah. Was, that's delicious. I too. probably said it wrong, but whatever. I, th- I think you're right. It's also very, very, very Yeah, day I'm something. not. I'm not going to try all that. Yeah, I it's mean, too much work. Know, I, 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 my night job, I'm LT Grace. So I'm a lot. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, but I'll, I'll I'll tell you, even like reheated, that taco was still really good. Aside from the shell, because oh. the shell, you know, from from all the juices and the goodness from the meat, had just soaked the shell. So I was like, okay, well, I just when I reheated, I like. Put it in a, a skillet to, in hopes of maybe not crisping it, but kind of, you know, keeping it from being too soggy. I just ended up knife and fork in the thing because it was just easier. So I mean, it is what it is. Well, I should just say nork in it because that's what I did. It wasn't a knife and oh, a yeah. fork. It was a nork. Which, oh, yeah. I mean, mm, so I'm good, so though. lucky to have that, like, within walking distance <laughs> yeah. of me. Yeah, no doubt. Because they, they make some delicious-ass food in there. Yeah, my, my plan is as we go there, I'm going to try to get around the menu. I, mean, I don't blame you because so much on that menu sounded good. So I, I've I've done my fair share of damage to the menu now. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, the uh, the the tortas are good. Mm-hmm. Torta. Yeah, well, yeah. Sandwich. Plus, I, plus, plus, I mean, dude, how cool is it inside there? Yeah, it was really cool inside there. Yeah, it's, it's like that's how the inside of my brain looks sometimes. <laughs> yeah, right. And colorful and all these dudes in masks. All these luchadors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> all these guys in tr- in uh, shorty trunks and masks. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's not my brain's wild, guys. Yeah. So, um, I you know last week I I talked about a very weird dream I had, and I'm going to continue the theme this week. So today, when right. I woke up, I was at the tail end of a dream. I have ver- I have no recollection of most of it. All I remember is I met like we, you, me, and. Two other people were out, but I don't okay. remember who they were. But you and I started um, talking to some other people, and I started like chatting with a, a young lady. 
and she wanted um she wanted i was like i'm gonna go get a drink and all all i remember is whatever beer i was drinking was was dark and heavy right so i go up and i asked the guy i'm like at the bar i'm like uh you know i'm like i just need a beer and he goes you know what kind of beer and i'm just like just nothing heavy because that's all i've been you know taken to the face all night (laughs) right so he's like all right and he pours me this beer that seriously looked like you know on days when you drink a lot of water how your urine might have a light light tint of yellow to it and that's it that's basically how clear this beer was (laughs) so i don't know what kind of beer it was but anyway and apparently the the young lady wanted me to get her a white grape gin white which grape gin doesn't even make sense because white grapes and gin are not even like gin is not made from white grapes yeah (laughs) But that's what I wanted. Now, when I went up to him, I asked him for that, and he said, we don't have white grape gin, but we have apple gin, which also sounds terrible. <laughs> yeah, that sounds very <laughs> sus. But, of course, that's, you know. so, And that's where I woke up. I was frustrated that I couldn't get the the white grape gin for her, and that's where I woke up. Like, the fuck's that even? Like, where the hell did my brain even get white grape gin? That's doesn't no idea that's not even like something you wake up to and go hey you know like get your notebook out and you know scribble down for a like hey this might be a good idea for a drink or something no no um well there's white grape Ciroc. okay that exists yeah yeah all right maybe that's where my brain that's you know Ciroc's a vodka yeah but i also yeah i didn't even know that existed so yeah yeah, I don't know where the hell that came from. And I wasn't watching, it's not like I was watching any sort of food show or anything last night. I was watching Impractical Jokers before I went to bed. So, Didn't oh no, actually, to... I was watching, oh, what's the name of that show? It's called Big Trick Energy. Oh, I've seen ads for that. Yeah. I have no idea what that's about. It's it's four guys that are magicians that are friends, and they play tricks on each other as well as, you know, do tricks to other people people around them and stuff uh, that's it was kind of fun what's cool is at the beginning of the show they do an illusion um to like while the theme is playing and then right. at the very end of the song uh the song at the end of the show they show you how they did it oh, that's kind of cool the one was really that. cool they walk up to a wall and they put this like black uh cloth up and then one of the guys jumps through and, uh, you know, it ends up all four guys are through and you're like, oh, that's kind of, you know, cool. And then the cloth falls down. Well, they show what they did. Obviously, there was a half wall there and um, where they put the cloth, they're actually di- jumping next to it. But they have the camera perspective to where it cuts that off. What's really interesting is I'm thinking, oh, they probably just have another wall that is closer to you and they film it. Which is true, but it's not an actual wall. It's like if you took like a floor tile and put it really close to the camera, and then the actual wall is sitting off and back to the right, to oh, where our eyes lie to us and tell us that's all one piece, and it's not. It's actually this little piece, and then there's just nothing but open space behind it. But uh, we can't see it because of that, and it was really neat. And everything. Yeah, the first episode I saw, there were four porta potties that each guy runs into one. And then this car comes down and it smashes three of them. And then they all come or three of them come flying out of the last porta potty. And, and then the other guy's sitting there like he had been, you know, dropping a deuce. <laughs> <laughs> but the cool part when they showed that one, because they showed it from overhead and what they do, of course, they run out the back. You know, that's easy to figure out. Right. Yeah. So but what they did was they run in a straight line. They had this junker car. They run in a straight line and around the car. The car makes it to where you won't see any shadows or anything from them running. Then they all go in a straight line behind the other one and all file into the final one while the other car is dropping and destroying the three. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's pretty much what I figured it was. They run out the back and they run in the other one. But you can see in between them. Right. But, again, the angle is just right so that that car in the background blocks the view. All about so, them angles. Yeah, it was pretty cool. You know, I thought it was kind of cool that they actually show you how they do a trick. 
I mean, basically. That or, is cool because a lot of times you watch this stuff and you're like, clearly this guy isn't a sorcerer. Yeah, <laughs> right. But, but you'd be, you'd love to know what it, what happened. Yeah, and it's like, uh, but I know they're not. Cool. But you know they're not going to tell you generally because you know that's the code. But I thought it yeah. was I thought it was kind of cool that they're doing just real minor things, but you know, showing you uh, all kinds of minor illusion. Yeah, like one of the yeah. things they dare a guy uh, to go through a car wash, like in his minivan um in a straight jacket and to you know and the guy goes if you get out of the straight jacket before the end of the car wash i'll pay for like all the detailing and everything on this minivan for you right and then <laughs> like one of the other guys is like okay i'll drive you through it well they get on like the tracks or whatever he jumps out opens both the side the sliding doors as it's going, so all the shit's gonna come in on the guy <laughs> while he and he's in the straight jacket, he can't get out. So, you know, and I'm sure a lot of it's probably gimmicked so that it's, you know, maybe it's not like blazing hot water that would like half melt your face and the hot wax and all that stuff. But What's it's the challenge then, Brian. But it looks like it to us. We don't know any better. Yeah. And of course, you know, he's selling it like a million bucks, like he's yeah, you know, and getting burnt and stuff, even though when he comes out there's no visible wax or you know like burn marks on him from the you know the super hot water i mean it would be funny if he came out he's all like shiny and glistening, <laughs> yeah like neil neil from daft yeah, pod yeah well that's how it... a, a fresh like what do they call it, like a hurricane wax or yeah these stupid car washes call their stuff now yep i assume that's what neil just does he just rides his bike through there I mean, good chance. You know? And then yeah, they I just put, like, that... an air freshener on him on his way out. <laughs> a little tree? Yeah. <laughs> I get that Neil Glisten. Yeah. Gotta get that hot wax. Ding! <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was a, it was a fun oh, the, show, though. Uh, so. The uh, the Saturday night hanging out, Brian. That felt mm-hmm. nice. Yeah. Yeah, it was quite nice. It was a good time. A couple mini old fashions. Mm. Yeah, a couple of, a couple of fashions with two different Some variations of it, and mm-hmm. you know we almost killed the growler. I finished it off the next day. Yeah, yeah. Had a nice little pine at the uh, Pavlovs, which mm-hmm. I did reach out to them to find out more about the Bell Ringer Club. That might be something I might be interested in. Yeah, it's like fifty bucks. That's it. That's what I thought. I couldn't remember, that's but really I thought that's what bad. you told me. Mm-hmm. The, only, the only thing I didn't ask, which I'll have to verify, is if it's one time fifty bucks. Oh yeah, that I don't know if if it's a per year kind of thing. If it's a one time thing, dude, I'll I'll, I'll buy in on that. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Especially because one of the things they told me is like, like every six to eight weeks they just shut down the brewery except for members only. Right. That's what I was telling you. Is like you get that. Yeah. <clears throat> you, what you get need first. I need to get a satin jacket. Yes. <laughs> that's totally what they need is the option of a satin yeah. jacket you know hell yeah that'd how be... funny that'd be show up in a whip of pavlov satin jacket mm-hmm. <laughs> members only <laughs> bell, bell ringers only bell ringers only yeah, yeah you're right you're mm-hmm. right like yeah yeah that was that was a nice little night though man yeah it was it was good times it was yeah. as close to i think as normal as i felt in I don't know how long. And we've hung out and stuff before, but it was nice to, you know, that we went out, you know, for for a, a pint. We we went out and had dinner. You know, we haven't done all that in a, yeah. a while, really. So it was nice to just kind of, it kind of felt like old times, how we would do stuff yeah. like that. We go have some pints and dinner, go back to your house and just hang for a bit. You know, it was it was really nice. Yeah, it felt good. It was yeah, yeah, it was nice to sit out on the porch and just jamming and just bullshit until I don't know. I think by the time I got home it was almost one. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I was like, whew. And then I, <laughs> I just face planted basically. Right, I figured so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a good it was a good time. Yeah. Meanwhile I came home and smashed that other taco. Well, I mean I mean you should. Yeah. I was gonna put it in the fridge and then I was like, Nope. I'm gonna put this in my face. <laughs> How about my face? So good though. Oh man, definitely a go back. Oh yeah. So it was funny. I was telling them, you know, here about it, and you know, like how much was the taco? I was like, I was like three bucks. I'm like three bucks for a taco, and I'm like, yeah, but you're you're comparing it to like Taco Bell taco. 
Like, first of all, this was like three Taco Bell tacos as far as yeah, what was actually their tacos in it. are loaded. And so, you know, in Taco Bell, like a hard taco there, I think now is like a dollar twenty nine or dollar fifty nine. It's not like it used to be where it was like fifty nine cents. You know, it's right. You know, because soft tacos, I think, are like a buck fifty or so now. So it's, you know, so if even if you do compare it to that, it's like I'd rather have one of the ones that I eat than five taco bell tacos or 10 or yeah. you know um so i mean my my typical move is i usually get like three tacos yeah. and i'm good which is what i got and then i i assumed they would be smaller so i also had ordered fries which i was expecting a small side of fries with my tacos and they bring out like this whole like metal container of yeah, it's like a pie pan of fries yeah <laughs> i was like oh <laughs> like that's like table fries you know that's like Instead, if we wouldn't have gotten chips, we could have had the fries in the middle of the table and had yeah. those. But whatever, I ended up bringing them home with the thing, threw them in the old uh, air fryer toaster oven and crisped them back up. And oh hell yeah! I'll tell that's you, that's one of the things I like. Chunks night, nice. Delicious. I I I like the idea of having the toaster oven because you know you can reheat pizza, fries, all that kind of stuff. But having the air air fryer slash toaster oven is like another level because instead of just the, getting the fries warm, I can actually get them crispy again, you know, Oh, for sure. Without having to like put them through 15 cycles, <laughs> you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can just air fry them for like a minute or so. And they're like, just ready give to them go. that nice little hug from the air fryer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't thinking yeah. honestly when, cause I put the taco in a skillet. I could have just put the fries in there too. I just wasn't thinking. <laughs> <laughs> on the flip side you could put taco in your i was just gonna say that yeah but mm -hmm. the best part was by doing it the way i did all the juices were still in the taco you know uh, which was nice I, yeah you know because if you microwave it you're just gonna cook all that right out of there so right but yeah anyway speaking of tacos yeah i made up some cauliflower tacos yeah yeah i was it was funny i was gonna text you about it and i'm like i'm sure we'll talk about this on the show Bro, those were fucking delicious. Really, worked out, yeah. huh? So I assume you just it worked out. You just take, really well. Take a head of cauliflower, chop it up, and then you roast it, or yeah, I, mm. I chopped it up. I tossed it with chili pow powder, like paprika, cumin, a little salt with some oil. Okay, so basically a taco seasoning. Up. Okay, yeah, right. And then just threw them on a sheet pan and roasted them. Hmm. And then I, I made a couple uh, like sauces because one of the sauce, one of the sauces I made the recipe recommended. It was kind of like a, I can't remember what they called it, but it was basically like a tomato base. It was almost like a salsa. Okay, I had some heat to it because you put some chipotle peppers in it. Mm -hmm. But then I made a, a garlic lime cilantro like mayonnaise. Ooh, that seems like a good move. And that was like to put on top. It oh, dude, yeah. It was so good. I actually went out and bought squeezy bottles. Oh, because a lot of times I make these sauces and they just end up in a bowl. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, and I hate it because it's like you got to get a spoon. I'm like, you know what? I saw them at Kroger. I'm like, I'm gonna buy a couple squeezy bottles. Yeah. Put I keep meaning to do that, and I haven't because I've made sauces uh, before. Best move ever. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I should do that. <clears throat> yeah, it was a very solid move. Yeah. But yeah, those tacos, dude. I mean. And like Michelle, she was like, I like these better than meat tacos. Okay. There's nothing uh, wrong. And, that's that's and, awesome. Because if it hits all and, the marks for you guys and for Leah, and by not, you know, like cauliflower is going to, I would assume, would, you know, uh, not um, irritate Michelle's issues the way I meat think might. So. Yeah, so, I don't know. Yeah. Cause, well, because well, I know sometimes morning. meat can um, cause inflammation you know yeah so well it was like that morning leah was like yeah i decided something yesterday dad i'm like yeah what's that she's like i think i'm gonna be a vegetarian i'm like oh get out of my house yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not no, no daughter like, of mine will be a, yeah exactly <laughs> you're just throwing raw meat at her yeah uh I was like, that's fine. Did you, you know, show her the episode like... of The Simpsons where, you know, they have the you don't make friends with salad? You don't make friends with salad? No, but I might have to send that there, to her. There's an, uh, it's an episode called Lisa the Vegetarian, I believe. 
it's where okay, Lisa yeah. decides to become a vegetarian. And uh, uh, Paul McCartney guest stars on it. Oh, yeah, it's on there. You don't make friends of Sal. It's yeah. fun on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to send her that because it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't want you to play it. But, um, but yeah, so I'm like, I, I'm like, that's fine. You know, I, I honestly don't care. I was like, I told yeah. her, I was like, it actually, it's interesting for me because I've never really cooked vegetarian. Yeah. I've, so, I've tried, like, I have off and on because, you know, of having gout. I, I've tried yeah. to find options to where even if it's um a partial substitute you know like i've made um spaghetti a few times and just you know it's nothing crazy but i'll put like you know mushrooms in instead or other stuff like you know the cauliflower switch is a good one for different stuff yeah the cauliflower switch works out yeah so you know it's most of it's not been anything crazy i did a um sticky rice that was all uh vegetarian sticky icky icky yeah I just loaded it with vegetables and stuff, and it was just really—it was basically like if you took a stir fry and sticky rice and put them together, right? And it was really good. I—that's something actually I'm probably going to make again here pretty soon. So, because I, I learned that you buy um, you buy rice that's meant for like sushi. Oh in, yeah, instead, yeah, yeah. and you know that way it it uh, it has a higher um, like it, it's sticky versus the other kind of rice which doesn't have the starch level in it. So. Right. That was really good, though. So, like I said, I'll do that again. Um, I've done a few things yeah, like that. <clears throat> and it's like the, the benefit I have, or the advantage I have, not benefit, advantage I have, is Michelle was vegetarian for most of her life. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah so that's right, because like, I forgot like, when we first were hanging out, she was yeah. mostly vegetarian. She was just kind of started to get into eating right, a little bit. which was because it blew our mind that, that one night when she was like, I really want a hot dog. And we we're all like, well. Like, how are you a vegetarian, yeah. but you want the worst meat possible? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I forgot about but, that. So, you know, I, I told Leah that. I'm like, you should talk to her yeah. because she will probably have ideas for you. And then sure enough, like, you know, she started rattling off all these ideas and stuff she used to make. And Leah's like, oh, that sounds like, oh, that sounds. <laughs> and then she's like, she's like, I know I have a vegetarian cookbook. And when I find out, I'll just give it to you. Yeah. No. Well, no, it's cool it's, too because there, you know, there's tons of recipes obviously online. Oh yeah. And I saw the other day was it Epicurious? I think it is. Is no longer going to be posting um, new meat recipes on their website. They're going veggie only. Really? Yep. Yeah. Interesting. Which, you know, and Epicurious is Looks a site like I'm I've blocking used. our web yeah. page, boys. <laughs> well, I was going to say, I actually, I've I've gotten quite a few recipes from that website. Um, no, I like Epicurious. Yeah, and not that I wouldn't going forward, but it, it was something I just noticed. It's an interesting move for a – it's a fairly big, you know, site. Yeah. So. No, nah, we'll have to, I'll have to check it out because, I mean, now, you know, I, I, I can make this the, just the same old, same old every week. But I'm like, I don't want to do that. That's yeah. why I saw those cauliflower tacos. I'm like, yeah. score. Yep. And that's actually – I'm going to add that to my regular rotating yeah, recipe. Yeah, sure. It's good. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Which is I uh, this this Thursday I'm making cool veggie pizza, which I haven't made in a long time. Cool veggie pizza? Yeah, it used to be. It was back when Jeannie was selling Pampered Chef. That okay. was a recipe that came with her stuff. Okay. And we made it, and it was like a, it was tasty, and we would make it for like parties and shit all the time. It's like, what is like it? Got the cream cheese fro no, frosting. Oh, okay. Like cream cheese base, of like chopped up veggies and shredded cheese. And oh, okay. It's got like a croissant dough crust, basically. Okay. So do yeah. you cook it at any point or no? You do, you bake the crust okay. the, the, and then you pull the crust out and everything else goes on. Cold. Oh, okay. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. I yeah. mean, I knew you cooked the crust. I just did, uh, didn't know if yeah. you cooked nah, it. You just raw dough that shit, yo. Mm, mm, mm. Nothing better. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. But yeah, so... uh It'll be it'll be some yeah, all right. It'll be an interesting interesting for me. Cause, yeah, I mean, we used to occasionally once upon a time do meatless Mondays. Yeah, but it was like every time we made something, we'd all be just sitting around the table eating it, going, you know, this would be way better if it had chicken or something. You know? <laughs> yeah, this would be so much better yeah. if it had pork in it. <laughs> yeah, that was what was funny. But, is... I mean, honestly, with those cauliflower tacos, I ate them. I'm like, this is perfect. Be yeah, like, I, it was. It didn't. The only thing that people said uh, was like, 
they're like uh Leo was like oh i think it'd be really good with some like black beans and michelle was like oh maybe some corn okay that's fair those are yeah. all things that uh, i like putting those things on yeah. on tacos or burritos or whatever anyway so that's not yeah that's not weird or outside the realm of uh what you're doing I mean, we just like mine when i just i did the, the two sauces a little guacamole i i quick pickled some red onions threw mm-hmm. some of those on there oh nice i yeah i saw yeah. the red onions which i always like because i like red onions a lot anyway uh yeah, well, i did quick pickled one and raw ones okay you get that See, nice contrast I, I like the raw ones because a lot of times i like putting raw ones on things that don't have a lot of crunch and they hold yeah. pretty well and i i like the boldness of them you know, they got like, that it, wow. yeah, like if I'm eating a burger, I want red onion on there. I don't want white or yellow. I want red onion on there because I like that contrast, that that flavor yeah. punch and everything. So exactly. It's yeah. Like, blau. Yeah, exactly. Like, blau. It does. It does. They're not for the, the weak. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're, they're pretty bold onion, especially when you're cutting. Yeah. Them. They're pretty bold. Oh, God. Yeah, I was, uh, <laughs> I, it was I was having a great time. I um, you know, it's funny. We talked about cutting onions before. And how I was like, yeah, they don't normally bother me. The last red onion I cut, dude, I was pouring water out of my eyes. I couldn't stop. It <laughs> was because so... I was screaming in pain. It was <laughs> no, because you know that doesn't bother me. I cut up plenty of things that scream, and uh, uh, yeah. but man, I could not stop. Like even after I was done, my eyes just wouldn't stop. You know, I went in the bathroom and um. You know, was giving up a fight. Wash, you know, like put some eye drops in and wash my eyes out and stuff. And man, it was just, uh, it was such a strong onion, though. That, oh I mean, boy. here's me in the kitchen when the onion's strong. I'm chopping here like ka chunk, ka chunk, ka chunk, and you just hear me go, oh, oh. <laughs> Woo. yeah, it's a strong one. <laughs> <Woo."> <laughs> yeah, that's usually what I do too. I would chop, 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 and then. Oh boy, you know, like, <laughs> so I hear you on that. Well, good. I'm glad the, uh, I'm glad the cauliflower tacos were a, were a hit. So, cause there's yeah, nothing yeah, worse than when you try stuff like that. And like you were saying to where it's either meh or you're like, this isn't good. You know, yeah. I've done that a few times where I follow a recipe and I'll be like, this just isn't good. Like, you know, like this needs this and this and that, you know, yeah. like, and I don't mean like I've me, done that just, plenty of times. you know, there was one of the recipes I made, I forgot what it tells you to use. And I'm like, this would be so much better if I use chicken stock, you know, but again, that's, you know, it's like, you know, use water or something. It's like, but that's flavorless. <laughs> right. Now I did the one time there was something I was making and it called for mushroom broth and I bought that instead of uh beef stock and that I mean, hit that hit a lot of the same notes right you know i i've never heard of mushroom broth but it yeah. sounds like something dice would say <laughs> hey you know, i hit it with my mushroom broth. <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you know because i know like they have like you know vegetable broth out there and stuff too yeah. you know or stock mushroom broth i don't like the yeah oh Oh, all I can think of was Toad from Mario. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, it's what happens. You know, you, you run him through a juicer. <laughs> Feet first. Yeah. Remember last week we talked about leprechauns this week? Toadstools. <laughs> yeah. Toadstools. Mm. Mushroom broth. Yeah. Mm. Or maybe it was called mushroom stock. Mushroom broth does sound way worse, though. Mushroom stock sounds a lot better. It does sound, yeah, mushroom broth just sounds yeah. like ghoulish. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. But I would assume you make it the same way as the others. You probably just, you know, cook. Boil the shit out of it. Yeah, cook some mushrooms for a little while, essentially, and then, you know, fry some. I mean, when I was in, in the old prep kitchen, basically every vegetable scrap we had, with the exception of the tomato stuff. Yeah. We'd throw in a five-gallon bucket. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. And then once that bucket got full, which was pretty quick, yeah, it was all dumped into a big stockpile. Well, it's funny vegetable broth. I remember years ago, like when I first started watching Good Eats, which at the time I didn't cook very much, you know. Yeah, and I remember him talking about like he was cutting um, celery and carrots for whatever, and he goes, "Now don't throw this away." He's like, "You know, put it in a plastic bag in your freezer for stock for later." And I'm like, "Huh." You know, like, like it was such a foreign idea to me, you know, yeah. and uh, then, 
you know, now over time, it'll be like, oh, that's actually really good because all you're looking for is the flavor of those. You don't actually, you know, it's yeah, not like why, you're making. Why? I mean, you're going to throw it away eventually, but you might as well get the most out of it. Yeah, exactly. So I was like, oh, uh-huh. yeah, okay. And that's when, yeah. you know, I also learned about, you know, from Men's Health Magazine, actually, I learned about buying a rotisserie chicken to make quick um, uh, chicken broth. Oh, hell yeah. I do that all you the time. Know? Like instead of buying like a, a you know, a fresh raw. chicken or a raw chicken. Yeah. You know, you just buy a rotisserie one, peel, you know, take all the meat off have, of it. Have a meal, basically. <laughs> right. Well, or you just take the meat off of it, soak the, or not soak, but, you know, cook the carcass to get you the, the whatever, and then use that as your stock for, and then put the chicken back in for your soup, you know? Like, like for us, it was always uh, buy the chicken, have a meal. Yeah. And and then the chicken carcass got turned into stock, which was like frozen or turned into soup or something. Yeah. Because uh, I, you know, I love having uh, fresh yeah. stock is my favorite. I, yeah. 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 Fresh anyway, we talked a lot of food yeah. on here. I'm all excited. Yeah. So how how's your week been? Otherwise, it's been good, dude. It was my birthday week, bro. Oh yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah you're what seventy now? Four, whatever I am. Seven. Four two or yeah. whatever. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it was a had nice little nice little dinner with the family, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, I, I came home. I'm from work on my birthday, and the house is all <laughs> all decorated, mm-hmm. which was kind of surprising. I, I'm like, "What is in my yard?" It was a big happy birthday sign. I'm like, damn it, woman! <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you know, it was, she bought me some cool T-shirts and. Uh, uh, she painted me a picture of like stuff from our childhood. Yeah, yeah. Which, Which... was, you know, like I said, when I opened it, I know I told you this, but mm-hmm. there was this car I used to have. It was called a laser car. Yeah. And I opened it, I was just staring at it because I'm like, how did she know? I didn't know you and her were doing collusion. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yep. But yeah, I was just like, how? I don't understand how this is. There's a painting of this. Right. But yeah, it was. It's a. It's awesome. It was like a little slice of my memories. It was cool. Yeah. Oh, the picture's yeah. not on here anymore. Dang it. Good, clean, fun, and and not to mention a, a Schmucker's strawberry rhubarb pie. Oh, quite nice. I know. Which uh, I mean. Oh, she has a picture. Yeah, she has a picture of your uh, of the painting on her. Um... Should be on her Instagram. On her Instagram, but... right? Yeah. Okay. I thought so. Because I was gonna, say, I was gonna do a quick search for like the car, and I was like, oh wait, I could just, yeah. So I'll have the link in the show notes again for um, her Instagram. So go check out. Well, go check her workout first of all. Second of all, you know, have a look see at uh, the painting she did for Tony. Oh, and actually, she got a uh, shouted out by the Toledo City Paper. I too. saw that. That's pretty awesome. It was, it was like local Instagrams a follow because she was just started getting all these messages. She's like, "What is hat?" And then she <laughs> realized, "Oh, they're, they must have featured me or something." Yeah, that's it's so cool. cool. Good it for is, her. It is cool. I know. But you no, know what we, it is? We were supposed to record. They, they obviously heard us talk about her, and oh, then of course, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yes, that must be it. I mean, he used to call public enemy, you know, like black people CNN or whatever. Right. <clears throat> We're Toledo CNN. She got the maybe? salt. She got the salty bump. <laughs> salty bump. And this time it was from both of us. Hey oh. Anyway. Hey-o. Um... <laughs> I apologize. That was that was maybe over That's the line, the but <laughs> the goof, right? It's it always was, for the yeah, goof. It was a goof. Um, yep. No, we were going to record yesterday, and you were feeling like trash. Oh, dude. I And I started feeling like trash because I had a slice <laughs> of my delicious birthday pie. And I like I, I was like, had the lights it, off. I was watching some TV. That sounds like, pretty sensual. Lights off, TV. No, dude, it was. I lit some candles. Dude, so it was like when we were hanging on the on your porch, right? Fuck yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, Tony had candles thing. lit. We had slow jams playing. No, we didn't have slow jams. Hell but, yeah. yeah. But I, I took a bite and I was like, that was an odd tasting bite. And I looked and there was like all these little blue speckles on the surface of my pie. <laughs> it's like, no. You were dry aging the pie. <laughs> oh, man, dude. I felt like the rest of that night. And I, I don't know if it was a mental thing. I don't know. I didn't feel right. Yeah. Well, you know how it is. Like once you realize you've probably eaten something that's moldy or um, past its prime. Your brain fucks with you so bad sometimes. Oh, yeah. I went and I chugged a huge glass of water. I took some Tums. I'm like, whatever. I got to throw my whatever. Yeah, right. 
Oh, it was uh, oof. I can't help yeah. every I time. Feel way better today. So every time, good. well, good, yeah. Every time one of us does that, I always it just had that flashback to Homer in that sandwich. You know. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I can't stay mad at you as it's in the garbage can. <laughs> just. I mean, I kind of felt the same way because there was like a half a piece of pie left. Of course, one right in the trash. Yeah, yeah. But I was really sad about throwing it out because that is my favorite kind of pie. And it's one of the, the best pie places in Toledo. Right, right. Yeah. So. Yeah. What are you going to do, though, right? Yeah. I mean, what are you going to do? Yeah. It's better to do that than maybe get sick off of it. But, yeah. Oh, my God. I couldn't um, – I had therapy yesterday, so the night before, it's been so long since I've been in there, my brain was just like, don't forget to talk about this and this and this and this. And, you know, it just would not shut off, and I could not go to sleep. Oh, so I, I got maybe an hour of sleep. I go nice. in – go in, and my appointment was at like 11.15 in the morning, which, you know, you know how well I function in the morning anyway. I'm usually like, eh, you know, <laughs> like – um. So They're dead, they walk. Yeah, <laughs> eh, shuffle. Um, <laughs> okay, fair enough. Anyway, you know, so They're I dead. they meander. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about that's that's closer. Yeah, that's a way less intense version of the yeah, Walking Dead. Totally the meandering yeah. dead. <laughs> they they don't go man. They go man. <laughs> like hey, I want eh. the brains, but it's all that work. <laughs> yeah, it's all the way over there. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll just have some cauliflower tacos. Um, Dude, how have we never, and if someone had to have made this joke, do you remember, do you remember Brian, when we go hang out in the mall and there's all the old people shuffling through there in the yeah. morning? Mm-hmm. The mall walking dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that does feel Someone's like something had somebody had to have done that before as a sketch somewhere, yeah, or something. Yeah, had to have been done. Because it's so true. Cause it is there's cause they're either, they go one of two speeds, either it's power walking. Yeah. Or it's shuffle, 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 right. Shuffle yeah. stuff. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. So I, you know, but I w- went to therapy. That was really nice and, uh, something I've needed to do for a while. Cause you know, I talked about, I was talking with you when we hung out about like, you know, maybe doing school and, whatnot and my brain's really been kind of back and forth and what I have to be careful of is I always want to try to come at things from as many angles as I can but I have to mm-hmm. be careful that you know at some point you have to go okay you've covered the logical angles everything from here on is paranoia or fear or you know you're overthinking now like Right. You know, you've gone too far. (laughs) Yeah. Damn it, brain, shut up. Yeah. So that's why I was kind of going through things with her to kind of help with, um, like, okay, that, that's, you know, that's a normal or an appropriate response. That's the word I wanted for, not normal, appropriate response or concern. And this is more of a, like, you know, cause I'm, I told her, like, I, you know, I like I told you, I have either the habit of I start things and I don't finish yeah. or I just don't start. And she goes, well, what's the harm if you start and you don't finish? She's like, you still learn stuff. You know, you still can get something out of it. That's and, valid point. Right? Now, my brain yeah. didn't go into that part because my brain goes from, well, if I start, I have to finish. I have to this. I have to that. And my brain's working in absolutes, which isn't how the world works. You know, the world is like 99% gray, (laughs) you know, we're occasionally in black or white. So, you know, it was, it was a really good talk. It was, you know, exactly what I needed. And it helped talking with you too, because that, you know, that's just getting out of my own head with it. Like I told you, that's, I I get paralyzed that way. That's, that's, you know, because my brain will just keep creating reasons to keep me questioning and then all I do is sit there. I mean, the, I've used the phrase mostly for like banging with the same <laughs> idea. You got to get the poison out, right? <laughs> it's 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 accurate though. <laughs> yeah, you just got to get it out, right? Right. So, uh, yeah, that was like I said, and I don't know if I've said it on here. I've said it on the Crazy Life a bunch of times. The way I measure therapy and whether or not I feel like I'm doing good, or whether or not it's working for me, I should rephrase is when I walk out, I should feel lighter. 
you know, like, like, like you've gotten something off of you essentially. So, yeah. and I did, I felt quite a bit better. So, uh, yeah, you know, so that, that was really needed. I, I haven't been in, I haven't had a chance to go in months now. So it was really nice to get back to that. Plus that feels normal, you know, like I was doing that. That was part of a routine. So when right. you get out of it, you feel off, you know? Right. So, Yeah. Good shit. So also Good some shit. so along the same path. I was telling her okay. about I told her I said this was something I did this week that I was this is gonna sound weird that I'm proud of it, but bear with me. Which oh, is remember I told you how I've barely played Grand Theft Auto? Like the actual yeah. story. Like I'm I had seriously five percent is what I was saved at. Right. That's how much of the game I've played. Five percent. I've owned the game. Well, this is the second platform now that I've owned the game on. Now I play, and I didn't play it much more on the the 360. <laughs> so, <laughs> right, you know. So anyway, uh, I've got that up to, I think, seventeen point something percent now. Oh hell yeah! So How's that story, it's good. I'm I, and I'm enjoying it. I did, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I had to use the skip feature once because of the one where you have to do the race and you have to win. Every oh, time yeah, I'd get Franklin, dude, I'd get way out in front and be killing it. And I understand the point of that is to teach you to use his skill. Yeah. Because of all the turns. And I don't know if it's normally that way, but it was raining in my game when I played it. Yeah. So I think it's raining every time. Yeah. So it's super hard to control the car through the turns and everything, you know. And I use the, you know, I use the handbrake and everything so you could do the sharper turns. And I'd be out in front. And then at some point, I'd get a little squirrely and hit something and then everybody passes me. <laughs> yep. And I'm like, son of a bitch. So I do it again, get out in front, killing it, bang, hit something. I'm like, you know. So I did it. I tried it four times and then I was like, all right, I, I'm just getting frustrated. <laughs> yeah, so I, I skipped it. Um, so, But it, it's cool that when you skip it, you get credit for it essentially like it doesn't and you have to try it i think what three times before it even gives you that option so yeah. it's not like you can just eh, i don't feel like doing this one and skip it but i, I realized i was just getting frustrated with it and it was like i'm literally doing it but i can't <laughs> i can't end the thing so i was just like eh, you know yeah, i've been having some equally frustrating moments and frustrated moments in video games yeah because i've been going back and playing the original god of war oh yeah and I forgot one how hard that game was. Yeah, yeah, there were times and, it was tough. Yeah, yeah, you know, there's sometimes you're like, oh my god, really? Two more minotaurs are spawning. What the fuck? <laughs> right. I'm already like, I can hear my heartbeat because I'm yeah. so low in health. You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> but the other thing that I forgot, it's from a bygone era, is having to find save points. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's one of those games you have to do that with. Yeah, uh, that's so frustrating. Yes, I'm like I was just like, oh god, I do not, I do not miss these. Yeah, no, it's a great one. It's just like I gotta, I gotta leave. I'm mean, just pause, save, mm -hmm. and, you know. Yeah, even if it took you to a previous <sighs> checkpoint, it wouldn't be as annoying. Like, let you save yeah. anywhere, but understand that you know, you, you yeah, maybe you're can't lose everything up to that checkpoint. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. That sucks, but whatever, you know, well, the other thing was while I'm playing the other night, <clears throat> our power blinked three different okay. times. And I literally mean blink. Like if you turn a light switch on and off, that's how quick it was on and out. But when you do, right. everything shuts down. So each time, you know, my PlayStation's like, Oh, we got to try to rebuild the, yeah, PlayStations do not like that. And I'm like, oh, no, you know, because I'm like, please don't corrupt my hard drive, you know, like type of thing. Yeah. And thank goodness everything was fine. But, you know, I had to restart a mission over. And then the third time it did it, I'm like, I'm just turning this thing off because it's not worth the risk. Also, it's frustrating. <laughs> yeah, you know? for sure. Because I was almost done. You know, the, the mission where you're Michael and you have to um, uh, save his kid from the boat oh yeah when his kid's yeah. hanging off the edge of the boat and you have to drive yeah, underneath like it the back of a truck or whatever. yeah i'm right underneath him and he's just about to drop and the power blinked <laughs> well, of course so i had to start <laughs> that mission all over which isn't a big deal but you know it's still still frustrating mm -hmm. yeah but yeah i've been going through 
I'm up to the point now where I think the only thing I have to do is go talk to Lester for the first time. Oh, so you you haven't played as Trevor yet, have you? No, I've only played as Michael and Franklin so far. (laughs) I can't wait to get to the Trevor portion of the story. And I will say this, the idea of having to switch between characters, I never, I didn't care for the idea initially. Um, But when you are with Michael and you have to shoot at the people chasing you as Franklin, yeah. Which makes no sense because Franklin's the better driver. Michael's the better shooter of the two. Yeah, you think it'd be, uh, yeah. I'll take the wheel, bud. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> so anyway, you know, but it, it's it's because they want to emphasize that you need to go to the shooting range with Franklin is what it is. Because, yeah. you know, I'm shooting and I'm all over the place. And I've learned one thing. As bad as I am at flying in games, I may be equally as bad as trying to drive and shoot in Grand Theft Auto. That's not easy to do. I am so bad at it. And you know what the reason is? For years and years, like when I hold a controller in my hand, I don't hold it with the two, like with my index and middle finger on the two trigger buttons. I hold with my one finger in between the two trigger buttons, my pointers. And as a result, in order to drive, aim, and shoot, you have to hold three buttons at the same time. Yes. And I'm, I hate playing that way. I don't, it's not comfortable to me. It never was. So it's hard to play that way. <laughs> I did it. I completed the mission, you know, but it was not easy for me. And my, my percentage was like, I think it was like 13%. I mean, I, I'm just willy nilly firing bullets and I'm like, boy, I hope I make some money soon. Cause I've got no ammo essentially. I mean, you're just gonna have to hit it, hit up a little four horsemen you know you might not like it but you will learn to love it yeah Woo! Woo! I'll, I'll tell you that that maybe is one of the most frustrating things though is that you don't make any money in the game not initially no that's what i'm saying though is it's like but you've got to go shoot things yeah well you need ammo so it's like where you know so but what i found was the way to make to get a little money with franklin is as you're driving around if you see somebody has robbed somebody is you know go rob them basically oh yeah absolutely which is funny because i don't even fucking chase him down i just drive near him and i'll either hit him with the car or i'll just hop out of the car (laughs) yeah yeah, put a couple in them right walk up grab whatever it is get back in the car and go (laughs) so the move is just run him over yeah yeah i couldn't on one of the guys because he ran down an alley that i couldn't the car wouldn't fit through so no big deal just like i said hopped out pat pat (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> go grab it the well i'm glad you're finally playing the, yeah. the story man now it is a good story the the biggest win in that is like i said now granted i haven't finished anything but i had yeah. gotten to a point that basically all the all i had played in the game was enough to make it to where i could play online yeah so the fact that i've pushed myself into even as far as i have it's like this is what i'm going to try to do and i mentioned it to to my therapist i said i'm I'm doing it with video games because this is the easiest area for me to do this in. Makes sense. So, and also what I did was I pivoted to where instead of watching TV a lot of times before bed this past week, I've been listening to my podcast then. So now I'm not listening to podcasts while I'm playing because, again, there's a lot of dialogue and stuff that goes on in Grand Theft Auto while you're driving around. Because that's basically what you're doing 90% of the game. Is driving true. from one spot to another. <laughs> I mean, you can always listen to the talk radio on Grand Theft Yeah, that's Auto true. Series. That's true. Oh, well, I do find it funny. If you listen to the radio, do you notice the radio actually talks about shit that you've just done? Oh, yeah. Which oh, is yeah. funny. It's like, you know, in breaking news. Yeah, you know, a <laughs> botched drug deal at the recycling plant, you know, and uh, it's like, oh, that's funny. I was there. Dude, yeah. talk about that mission. Dude, I fucking aced that mission. Because, you know, like you have to like grab a shotgun and you were basically running point it to get out of that recycling thing. Dude, right. headshot at almost everybody. Well, no, well, I mean, Brian, shotgun. Yeah. You're well, ba- you're basically in a halo base. Yeah. So. Yeah. Because, you know, I'm, I'm making myself get better about using cover because I've never been good at that, as you know, from playing shooters with me. Um, <laughs> <Fair> <laughs> running gun doesn't get you very far in Grand Theft Auto. You You have to get behind shelter especially when you're reloading you know but that oh, i just uh, pop I, out pow boom pow boom pow. <laughs> I, I you are gonna have to come over and bring your playstation over again yeah because i'm pretty sure apex legends has a new season out it does because i saw it in and my queue last giant night giant download son of a bitch see why couldn't that have been the other day 
Had to be yeah, after I've already been at your place. Son of a bitch. All right. Yeah. Anyway, though, uh, you know, I'm celebrating that win for me because it is. First of all, I have fun playing, but also the idea of, you know, trying to push myself to put, play something. Because it's so easy to just pick up the baseball game that I play and just mindlessly play that. Or Madden, right. or or even Diablo, you know? Like, I've beat Diablo so many times, it's not funny, you know? Right. There's not a ton of real challenge to that game, because I know the maps, I know where what bosses to go after, you know? Like, uh, other than just playing on higher difficulties, there's no real challenge to that game for me. Um, but I still like well, playing if, it. If you want a challenge... I should let you borrow Doom Eternal. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm okay. I I got plenty of games to play already. <laughs> like, right, I keep eyeing, enough. like, I, I was gifted Ghost of Tsushima and haven't started it yet. Ooh, I've heard that game's amazing. Yeah, it, but it's like, I don't want to start another game because I've already started a bunch of games. You know, it's like, I want to try to finish a few games. Yeah, or, or at least play as far as I'm going to play in them, you know? Yeah, no, I, I totally get it. Because now that Grand Theft Auto has that ability to... to you know, hey, you tried, but you suck. So, would you like to move on? <laughs> the knowledge of fact, you can't do this. Well, dude, you remember? But we're gonna let you continue with the story. Well, you remember? Like I've told you before, there's always a mission I can't do. There's always yeah. been one in every Grand Theft Auto game. There's some mission I just cannot beat. Now I finally can move on from that. You know, that's an awesome option. <laughs> yeah, it is a good option. Because otherwise, I've stopped. I've stopped playing the game at that point. Right. You know. I mean, picture if in Final Fantasy, you know, like when you played like uh, like Final Fantasy VII, like when you go against the, what are they, the Elementals or whatever? Right. Or no, not the Elementals. God, what were those things called? You're talking about the, 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 the sub-bosses that yes. were way harder than the boss Yeah. Boss. Like picture yeah. if you absolutely just couldn't beat one of those and you couldn't move on from that point. You know, you'd be like. Oh, back then they didn't give a shit. No, no, no. But you could move on. You didn't have to beat all of those, oh, I think. Oh, I see what Yeah. You know, like with yeah. GTA, you hit a point where it's like, okay, that's why actually in the, was it the last one or the one before, the one where they had the DLC with like the Ballad of Gay Tony and I forgot the other one. I quit playing the proper game and went on and played the DLC instead because I, I hit a point where I was stuck. So at least I had an option there, you know. Anyway, so yeah. And then the other thing I did this week was I I watched uh, all the episodes of uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Oh, how I haven't watched one yet. Is it good? It's good. I I heard uh, Donald Faison on Fake Doctors Real Friends mentioned a critique yeah. of it that I thought was good, which it's it's really good, but it feels like it might have needed maybe one more episode to really flesh things out a little better because it kind of feels like they rapid. Uh, kind of wrap yeah. things up at a certain point, but it was really good. I dug it. The fight right. scenes are, are pretty awesome in it. The storyline's pretty good, and the characters are really good. And you know, um, <laughs> uh, shit. What's his name? Kurt Russell's son Wyatt plays um, the new Captain America. And you know, you remember you re- you remember U.S. Agent, right? Of course, Kurt Russell's son. His name dude, is Wyatt. Yeah, but dude, I gotta tell you, like, he, he looks like such a goo. Have you seen the memes of him? Oh yeah, like, oh my like god, our stored Captain America, yeah. and yeah, which is how it's that. supposed to be. He's not supposed to be a super soldier. He's supposed to be well. He doesn't have the serum. He is just a really good soldier. Oh boy, did it freeze again? It sure did, buddy. <laughs> All right. So, so we're talking about Dollar Store Captain America yeah, yeah. and what now? He's supposed to just be like the everyman soldier. He's not supposed to, you know, look ripped in the costume and stuff. You know, he's not supposed to have quite the physique of Cap and everything. So, but he's, <laughs> it's hard to look at his face in the costume and not kind of laugh because he, I keep seeing the, the guy from Up. You know, once the right. the memes ruin that for me, <laughs> that's what the internet does. Yeah, yeah. But he's that he's good. Sure what they do, he's really good in that role of uh, the new cap slash uh, U.S. agent. 
and right. stuff. Now, what's really choppy about it, and this isn't, I'm not giving really any spoilers away, but there was supposed to be, I don't know if you read this, there was supposed to be a whole um, pandemic that happened in the episode or show too, but they cut it out because of, you know, the fact that the, the world's going, pandemic. yeah. So <clears throat> I think as a result, maybe that's why it feels that it needed mm. one more episode. Cause maybe there was going to be another episode because of the the pandemic storyline and maybe since they cut that they just kind of there was some kind of choppiness to it but i don't think you really you don't really miss it but at the same time you when you look back you kind of go yeah it feels like there's something a little off about it you know right but yeah really good definitely worth watching and bet Bad batch dropped last night i can't wait to dig into that tonight oh yeah yeah so quite excited nice. for that yeah buddy and then you know you know we watched uh today while we we're eating some food normally we eat at the table but today i was like i really wanted to sit and veg out i don't i don't like a long day at work right going in early for some dumb reason whatever i'm not gonna get into yeah. it yeah so you but, just sat um, on the toilet yeah yes yeah I, I often <laughs> wonder how much money i make just sitting in the bathroom <laughs> hmm. not just you a lot of people i'm sure I actually yeah. read something at one point where remember when we talked about that with um that one company that was making those toilets that would like sl- that were on yeah, an angle slightly elevated yeah, or whatever because people were stealing money from way. their employers by sitting oh, on the yeah. toilet yeah yeah but we uh we watched about half of the la- last blockbuster documentary oh yeah right that's terrific yeah it's very i would highly recommend watching especially like, you'll appreciate a lot of it because of all the video store stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, like, I was watching it, and I was like, oh, God. Oh, I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Right. Yeah, but it's it's actually a pretty interesting documentary. Yeah, I have it in my – I can't remember if that's Netflix or Hulu that has that. Netflix. But Netflix, yeah. And yeah. Uh, I definitely have it in my queue to watch because oh. I, I, I didn't know about it until Ron Funches posted about it on his Instagram. Yeah, he's, pro- he's pretty prominent in it. Yeah. And Brian, this is a this is a great moment this weekend. Um, I introduced Leah to Major Pain. Oh, nice! How'd she? She deal loved with... it. Oh, good. <laughs> I that's mean, that's a... one of my that's one of those weird '90s kids movies that you're like, how is this a kids movie? <laughs> yeah, I know it really doesn't feel like a kids movie, but no, I feel like is. now it would be. I, I don't know what the rating was, but I feel like the rating now would be like PG thirteen at least on the thing. So. I would think it would be. I want to say it was yeah. just PG, but let me. I'm gonna look yeah. real quick. I mean, even PG sure. wouldn't be terrible for it, but yeah, I didn't. I hadn't looked, so I don't know. Yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, the way he's insulting the kids. Oh, really quick. Um, oh my god. The way you looking at ass eyes. <laughs> It's greatest. Going back to Falcon and Winter Soldier for a, a minute, the last yeah. episode has a mid uh credit scene that you definitely want to watch. Mid credit all right, fair enough. Yeah, like if you just let the credits roll part way through it'll stop, and then there's a scene, then the credits pick back up. There's another episode, I, I think episode that. five. Right. Either four or five has another one. That one's not it's not necessary, but you still want you know, it's there. <clears throat> as far yeah, as I know, enough. there's no other ones on there, though. So once you hit episode four, maybe watch through the credits to see if there's, if it's not four, then it's five and six. I can't remember, but six definitely, but I don't remember if it's four or five also has one. Right. So, yeah, there you go. Um. Wow. Sometimes, man. IMDb. Yeah. Major pains, PG thirteen for crude humor and behavior, and you know they break it down on IMDb. Right? Oh yeah, for parents, right? Yeah, it has uh, no sex and nudity, but some very mild sexual references. <laughs> and I was like, "What?" And I'm I'm trying to figure it out, and it's just my neighbor is a shit ass car. You hear that? No. Oh, thank God. <laughs> um. It's, it's not as bad as Fury Road up here, I guess. No. Huh. But, like, the little, there's a little boy in it. He's, like, a little six-year-old kid, and it's talking about how he's got to go pee. And he's like, you know, you hold it, or I'll break it off and kick it around the yard. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. 
I mean, if you haven't seen Major Pain, it's on Peacock, which is free. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, if you have never watched it, definitely check it out. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot how much I enjoyed that movie. (laughs) Right. Yeah. I haven't watched that in so long. Because I remember. Look at that ass. ass. (laughs) This is my favorite. I remember I came into work at Hollywood Video one day. Or, no, not Hollywood Video, Family Video. And somebody had that in, and I'm like, I don't think this is PG. <laughs> no, oh, sure it not. is. I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is PG-13, and this is not not okay to play in the store. You know, I mean, it's hilarious, but yeah. it's not okay to play. I mean, in the store. you know, like to us, it's like whatever. It's no big deal. But I could easily see somebody hearing something in there and being, meh, meh. although nobody ever did when we played big. I shouldn't right. say we. I never put big in because I know there's like it, you know, that one scene where he just goes on that long rant of obscenities, basically. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I was like, eh, I should probably skip this movie for the, in the store. It's like the because uh, <laughs> then the old family video uh, fucking policy was PG movies. Yeah, PG or under. I just, PG or under. Yes, yeah. and I remember one of my coworkers was like. Oh, planes, trains, and automobiles. This is PG, and I'm like, is it? I'm like, look, I'm like, I guess it is. 80s PG Uh, though. (laughs) It is PG. It 80s PG. Yeah. And I was out like running movies and putting them away, and I just hear Steve Martin, get the fucking car off the fucking. I was like, (laughs) (laughs) yeah, yeah, that'll do it. Ejected, ejected. Yeah. When uh, I started at Family Video, the policy was PG-13 or under. But I think the reason that they, they axed that was there were 80s PG-13 movies with nudity in them. Oh, yeah. Them sweet, sweet 80 titties. Yeah, so I think that was part of it. Also, you know, I mean, we used to play Dumb and Dumber all the time. And, you oh, know, yeah. I we were so disappointed when we couldn't play Dumb and Dumber anymore. So Classics. Yeah, I do. I do kind of miss some of the video store vibes. I mean, that's yeah. what the one thing about because all these actors that they talk to that used to work in video stores and you're like, oh, God, I remember all those good times. Yeah, you, you need to watch it. That's yeah. all I'm saying. All right. I will. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I'll, I'll have a look. See at it. So I watched the um, you sent me the thing about the uh, the Marvel teaser. Yeah, that came out. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, not season four. Story arc four. Yeah, I forgot what they how they phase, were, four. phase four. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So what'd you think? I'm, I'm. I mean, listen. I, I'm pretty amped for most of the Marvel stuff. You know, we talked about Shang Chi. Was it last week yeah. or the week before? A little bit, and the Eternals. You know, I, you know. But I'll watch them. I'm not like super excited for those, but you know, overall, I mean, that slate, like. There's there's some pretty exciting stuff on there. I'm, I'm definitely. Oh, yeah. what, what I thought was funny. And, and the TV the shows trailer. that are going to happen along the way, too. You oh, know? Yeah. No, a good half of that trailer for Space 4 was just clips of old movies. Yeah, yeah. With a really cool Stan Lee voiceover. Yeah. What I thought. Which one... If it's Stan Lee voiceover, I was like, oh, I miss you, Stan right. Lee. But. You know, I thought was really interesting was how it still felt like such a big moment. The part where you see everybody and you hear Cap yell, Avengers Assemble, you know? Yeah. Like, even though you've heard it in the movies, you've seen it, it's it's not like it's a new clip. But it was still the idea. I don't know. There's just something. It just really rekindles the little boy reading that in the comics. Think Always thinking oh, yeah. it was cool. It was the coolest part, you know, when Cap would yell, Avengers Assemble. And then to see it that first time on the not not in Endgame, but you know seeing it for the first time in Avengers when he says it and different stuff. And it's just there's something just such a cool thing. I love that they didn't they didn't do it to death. You right. know, it wasn't like every time. Like I don't know. Did you ever watch Superhero Squad, the cartoon? No. No. Okay. Like every episode, Cap has to say like Avengers Assemble or or superhero squad rollout or iron man does something like that like they go out they kind of beat you over the head with it and it's a little annoying like they're going out the brunch avengers assemble. yeah basically and i appreciate in the movies how they didn't they made sure that it still kept that special feeling to it so even seeing that clip again 
you know, was like, oh, man. Because it, it also reminds you of, like, when you see just the scope of, like, this is, like, all the heroes yes. taking on Thanos and his army, you know. So it was it was just a cool thing to see again, even though, like I said, I've seen it plenty of times. It was still cool to watch. But, yeah, I, I agree with you. It was weird that half of it is, like, oh, here's where we were or are. Yeah. You know? Yeah, exactly. And yeah. it's, like, I'm pretty pumped about the stuff they're coming out with. But at yeah. the same time, I'm, like. I mean, you know, I don't, like I don't know, like you're like Shang Chi. I, I like kung fu movies. Mm-hmm. Maybe I might dig that. Yeah, Eternals. I honestly don't know shit about. Yeah, Eternals. I'll have to read up on before. I mean, all I know that. is the shredded Kamal. <laughs> right. That's all, all I know. Right, and, and I'm sure um, it'll still it'll know, still probably and, be good. You know, they were they were they're all enjoyable. There's none of their movies really yeah, that yeah, I'm I, like. I, you know. There's not a not a Marvel movie I haven't enjoyed. Yeah, exactly. But but then it's like then they're starting to get into like you know oh two thousand twenty three for next Thor movie the next Guardian Spider Man yeah. it's like man they're that far away I know like the movie that I really want to watch yeah are that yeah far away exactly I know and then that's why I said it's like you see that in your jazz for stuff and that's not even mentioning like I said the TV shows that are going to be along the way too which I'll tell you that's one of the things I'm really digging is even if um uh Falcon and Winter Soldier is only one and done. I dig the way they're doing those series yeah. like WandaVision. I don't want, I felt like I, at the end of that, I'm like, I don't really want another no, there season. Shouldn't be a, there shouldn't be another one. Yeah. And I kind of like cap and, or uh Falcon and winter soldier. They could keep doing, of course, you know, cause yeah. you know, well, I'm not going to get into it, but anyway, um, but you know, it's, it's a, it's a buddy cop ag- adventure show basically. You know, so right. it's like it's like, yeah, give me more of that. You know, like it's fun. You know, why wouldn't you want to see more of that? But it's also like, look, they announced a Captain, you know, a new Captain America movie. So you know, you assume that this is probably just going to lead into that. You know, most likely. Right. Um, also, did you catch the little thing at the Marvel at the very end of the Marvel thing? There's a four there. And oh I, yeah, you're right. Now the question is, is that Phase Four? Or is that a little uh, a little tease? Well, not the Fantastic Four. Because Marvel owns the rights to that again. So I mean, if they're smart, they're going to do a good Fantastic Four. Oh God, I hope so. <laughs> Did you see? Yeah. Um, oh shit, what's his name? Uh, Rob. Um, I can't think of his last name. From It's Always Sunny. There's like a a, oh. a mock up of like the Always Sunny cast as the Fantastic Four. <laughs> yeah, I have seen that. Yeah. Oh, I man. would love that. I would be all for that. That would be. I mean, it would be so bad, but it could be really funny. You know. I mean, it could be the best thing ever. Yeah, but given that they really need to have a good Fantastic Four, I feel like that's there's no chance in hell of that happening. But I mean, come on, Danny Vito's a thing. How great could it be for I'm like the Rock Man? I beat up people of rocks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like no, no, you're the thing. <laughs> like that's yeah, so <laughs> that's so demeaning. <laughs> <laughs> It really is, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it's true. I mean, yeah, who, who's the, like I, you know, I'm the Human Torch. I'm Mister Fantastic. I'm uh, Invisible Woman. I'm the Thing. <laughs> 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 right? It's like the you know you remember on uh, Charlie Brown where it's like, ooh, I got candy. I got this. I got gum. I got a rock. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> It's the same, like, it feels like the same uh, cadence. I've never thought about it that way. But you're <laughs> Everybody else has right. got cool names, but <laughs> I'm the thing. <laughs> it's probably because, like, the spaceship got out of that weird cosmic whatever that, that happened to yeah. them. And they just saw this pile of rocks in the corner, like, what is that thing? Yeah. <laughs> he just went, oh. Yeah. The ever-loving thing. I mean, now, on the flip side of that, he does have one of my favorite, you know, uh, catchphrases in comics. You know, with its clobbering time. Well, yeah, for sure. Also, uh, I did it because it made me laugh. Ha! But that's a whole different thing. Ha! <laughs> that's a totally different thing. Right. Oh, man. Also, don't forget to work the pebbles. <laughs> Yee. Mm. Yikes. Yikes. Do you think his version of a fleshlight is a rock tumbler? Yes. <laughs> Clearly it is. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Thing, Just what are saying. you doing? Skipping stones? 
just polishing rocks. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Definitely excited for the stuff, though. It's amazing, isn't it, how... Now, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of superhero property stuff out there now. Isn't it amazing oh, yeah, sure. when you think back to us as teenagers and how we were just like, man, it'd be so cool to have a Captain America movie. Uh, yeah. Now, literally, it it's wild. There's been multiple Captain Americas. There's, you know, movies as well as people as Captain America. There's right Avengers and Iron Man, and, you know, all the solo properties. And then you get into the fringe stuff. And then even now we're getting into even more fringe stuff, you know, that's further away. And, you know, if you had told teenage or childhood us that there was going to be a what if series, we would have probably shit ourselves. Oh, for sure. So I can't wait for that. I'm, yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah. Oh, and MODOK. MODOK starts in like a week, I think. Oh, I can't wait for that one. Yeah. Too. Or a week and a half, something like things like the 15th. MODOK? Yes, please. I heard there's a really good MODOK uh, comic out right now that like Pat Oswalt is, I don't know if he's a writer or a co-writer or something on. Really? Yeah. I'm okay. so far behind in books, I wouldn't know, but I do, I saw on um, Twitter somebody mentioning him in it, you know. Nice. Yeah. So, it's pretty cool. I mean, MODOK. MODOK mobile organism designed only for killing or whatever it is. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, I'm Speaking really good at killing. Yeah. I, I could use MODOK here on my street. Oh. Okay. Because right before we started recording, the the uh that the old hex angels were firing up the bikes <laughs> up the road. And by hex you mean like H E C K apostrophe S. Yeah, because right? they're so cool. I, we got these three guys a little up the road that they bought these mini bikes and they just they go up and down the road now. And I got this little old man that lives across the street from me. Mm -hmm. I was just sitting out on my porch. I think I was drinking coffee and like looking at my phone Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. And they, they're just buzzing up and down the road and he just starts yelling at them. Slow down! <laughs> and of course they just start popping wheelies in front of his house. Every time. And these guys are not young. They're like my age. Yeah. Of course. My favorite part of the whole slow down thing is, like, if you see a car flying down a street, you might yell slow down because you could hit somebody. Yeah. Right? It's like, with those things, it's like, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you could still hurt someone if you ran into them. But... They get going pretty yeah. fast, I'll be honest. Yeah. yeah. But I, I but just... It's like, it's just, it's so annoying is what it is. Yeah. You just got to stand out by the like, street. It was so nice Saturday morning. I'm sitting out there, and all I hear is, bah, 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 and here they, here they come. It's like, God, really? It's like, go you know? somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, like, do you really have to go up and down the road? And we yeah. have, like, a not a busy road, but it's busier than I'd want. Yeah. It's like, all I, all I hope is they just, some car takes one of them out someday. Yeah. That's pretty rude, but yeah. I'm, I kind of feel that way. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's like, what are you, 12 on your, or, you know, 8 on your bike to where mom says you can only go up and down the, your street, <laughs> you know? Yeah, like, exactly. You're just, you're just middle-aged dudes going up and down the road like idiots. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. Yeah, it's like, seriously, go, go find a, a mini track somewhere and race. Yeah. Or maybe don't buy mini bikes and save up and get real motorcycles no, and go around town. That's just ridiculous. Oh, you're right. What was I thinking? Yeah. <sighs> this way they can put all the bikes in one car. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and go to soccer practice and, you know, drive around in the parking lot. Do donuts. Yeah, do donuts in the library parking lot while the kids play in soccer. Yeah, they're really the worst. It's pretty annoying. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm waiting for someone else to start yelling at them because, you know. Or what if what if their, their uh, gang grows? I mean, there is. Um... Are they recruiting? I can't remember what they're called, but mm -hmm. there is a legitimate um, moped, not really yeah. motorcycle gang, but a moped yeah. club in Toledo. <laughs> and I, I can't remember what they're called. They've got a goofy ass name, though. Oh, my God. I remember us talking about this before because I remember you telling me this because I think you saw them somewhere. Yeah, I saw a whole group of them. Yeah. Somewhere. Oh, yeah. They're <laughs> called the Zeros. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, whatever. I guess, you know, as long as you ain't hurt nobody, who cares, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Have your fun, boys. Yeah. 
but mopeds? All right, so here's a question. You're starting a gang. Mini bikes or mopeds? Hmm. You have to choose one or the other. I mean, I think I'm doing mopeds because it seems a little bit more comfortable. No, oh, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mini bikes seem like they'd be really uncomfortable after about a minute. Yeah, exactly. Because your knees are up to your damn. It reminds you of, you know, the episode of The Simpsons where Homer has to ride that really, really tiny tricycle? Yeah, he's like, ee! yeah, and his knees are like <laughs> going up next to his ears. That's basically what I I feel like I'd be like on one of those. Uh, well, I mean, they're not those like really small, ridiculously tiny mini bikes. Oh, okay, that was what I was picturing the whole time. Yeah, they're they're like the they're, they're small motorcycles that's in between like one of those tiny ones and like a moped. Oh, okay, okay. You know, like you could buy a probably tractor supply or yeah. something. Yeah, you know? I like my yeah. concept better because I just. <laughs> oh, I like your concept better too. Yeah. Once you said the little, I was like, "Oh, I, I see what Brian's picturing yeah. here." <laughs> I'm picturing like those real tiny ones. Like I said, your knees are up to your fucking ears. You know. Yeah. All right. What would my moped gang be called? <laughs> huh. I have no idea. Yeah. Hmm. I have to think about that one. I mean, it's got to be badass, like the Hell's Axes or something. Something, something. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Mm-hmm. Maybe like the Honey Badgers because they're small but fierce. Oh, I thought because you didn't give a fuck. Okay. Oh, or maybe Prince because small but fierce. Yeah. The princes. I don't know. That sounds <laughs> too much like princess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that'd be funny. You get jackets, and of course they're purple because Prince. So Prince, yeah. You get purple jackets or whatever, and you know the place there's there's a spelling mistake, and of course it <laughs> they all say princess on them. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> like, God damn it! <laughs> we were supposed to go on a ride today. Yeah, mom, they they spelled this wrong. <laughs> How about it's it's Prince inspired, but it's Purple Rain, but like R E I G N. Okay, I can live with that. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Right? That's better. But you still have yeah. to dress like Prince. And oh, by yeah, Prince, absolutely. I mean like Chappelle in the basketball sketch Prince, you know, with the, the like, doily shirt and everything. Oh, I was doing ass cheek chaps. Oh, okay, never mind. Well, as the leader, yeah. that that's your right, you know? Yeah, for sure. I feel like yeah. not everybody gets that level. No, 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 no. Yeah. no. Definitely not dressed for a slide. Either. All right. <laughs> That's accurate. Not unless you grow up or something, you know. Yeah, some. You, know, you bring some baby oil with you to, you know. Got to get that uh, gotta get that car wash hot wax. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Dude, so you show up at the, the playground looking all bad and everything. You pull out, like, some board wax. Like for a surfboard, and you're just rubbing it on your ass to slide down the slide. Just got like a, a Ryobi cordless buffer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of your cronies has to buff your ass. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Buff it. That seems fair. It's gonna have a weird biker name, like I don't know, Buff it Xylophone. Yeah, <laughs> Xylophone. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're they all can't have cool biker names. They gotta be like weird biker names. I was gonna say all of them have to have a weird instrument name like Glockenspiel, you know, like <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you know. Exactly. <laughs> Sitar, you know. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I know you're Mexican, but the only instrument I've left is Maraca. I'm not trying to say anything. <laughs> can't you call me Triangle instead? <laughs> no, you're Maraca. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Triangle's my main bitch. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fine. Shit, fine. Yeah, man. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. Good times. Yep. Uh, so you know what's ridiculous? Uh, what's that? I saw. I, I I I need to look to make sure this is a real thing for sure. But I've seen a couple posts now where they've shown that there were boxes of like Kellogg cereal that had Pokemon cards in them that okay. literally had those, you know, those security things that they have at like target where it's like a big black round thing. And then they have like yeah. wires around. So people aren't cutting into them or whatever, I guess. But I mean, I still feel like you could as someone who carries a knife on them basically at all times now, yeah. 
I could get around that cable. <laughs> that, well, that's what I'm saying is it doesn't completely enclose the box, and it's just cardboard. It isn't, you know, like I feel like yeah, you could just tear apart the box. Yeah, yeah, you know? for sure. Or, you know, like you said, just take a knife to it and get in there. But, uh, you know, just the fact that we, that Pokemon cards are at a point that people feel that they have to, like stores feel like they have to protect cereal boxes because there's a pack of like three pokemon cards in there is insane to me that is insane to me now i also found i'll have this in the show notes of course uh, an, a thing that someone wrote for vice talking about how right. um because of the sports card boom and the pokemon boom um there's one of the card grading companies that literally had to put a halt on people sending cards in because so many I've, have been I've sent heard in heard about that a guy i work with is really into sports cards and him and i yeah. were talking about that well you can That's get crazy. around it but you have to pay like three or six hundred dollars per card to do that now well think about it though for the right card it's worth it yeah it's worth it for the right card. like this mentions if you have like an old school charizard that gets a 10 it's worth like 300 grand so right. that would be worth three or six hundred dollars. Now you also have to pay insurance to protect your card. So I don't know exactly how that money works out, but I'm sure that isn't cheap. Um, Probably not. But yeah, I you know like the article kind of goes in to talk about how even stuff like top loaders that you used to be able to buy for like two bucks for a pack of like twenty five, you can't touch them for that now. No store has them in stock. Like, I actually saw a pack in the wild. I don't know why I didn't buy it. I should have because it was like $4. I should have bought it because you can't find them around anymore because people, everything they open now, basically, they're putting them into those things. And so much is getting sent off to be graded that, you know, like they said, that that company had to shut things down. Um Another company, CGC, which, you know, for anyone who knows comics knows, was like the, the first company really to do grading on comics. They have are, they are significantly raising their prices, which I fully expect PSA and other companies to do, too, because why wouldn't you? Right. Uh, yeah, I don't. I mean, if the, the demand is that high. Well, it does two things. You? One, you make a shit ton more money, but also it slows down submissions. So it right. makes it more manageable for you because otherwise, like, uh, CGC, I guess, has got to hire, all, like, all sorts of new people because they, they've been getting – they're getting comics and um, cards. And I think – I don't remember if CGC is one of the companies that grades pops too. But, you know, there's just – people are getting so grade happy with stuff that it's it's insane. Right. And, you know – and of course, that's leading to shortages, um, you know, for for Pokemon and sports cards. Like seriously, uh, Target did a thing where it was like every Friday, you could. I saw they canceled that. Yeah, they had it to where it was like every Friday they would have sports cards. You had to go to wherever they had a customer service, the electronics department, whatever, and you could get like one or two packs. They got such a line and such demand and such for it that they canceled it, and they're just putting them out randomly now. Right. You know, because, and we were told by an employee, well, me and my brother were told by a former employee of the Target over here that there was like, if a guy, there was this one guy that if he knew the cards were coming out, say today, he would be there and he would get rude about it if, you know, like go in the back and look for him, basically. You know, crazy. well, because the guy knew if they he didn't get them then, they were, they'd be gone. Because as soon as they hit the right. shelf, somebody will buy all they had, you know, so... Yeah, anyway, I you know, it's it's kind of a short article that talks a little about some of this craziness. So, uh, you know, if people are interested, I'd recommend reading that because I don't know, man. It's crazy. The weird part is, you know, like there's usually in speculation at some point there'll be a – the bubble will burst and then whether or not it recovers. Like you remember when Magic back in the day, remember oh, yeah. it had a huge bubble burst. And we were all like, holy shit, because all our cards that were like 30 and $40 were now worth like 10 you know, yeah. maybe. Yeah. But obviously, Magic has significantly recovered from that point. Um, oh, that, and then some. And then some, yeah. And sports cards did that, too. Sports cards hit a point to where 
basically everything from my childhood was worthless. Now, if you get those cards graded, they're worth money. You know, Um, not all of them, of course, you know, key key ones and stuff. But um, it's interesting with the grading, though, because the grading is like once they rate it like a 10, it's like it shouldn't deteriorate much. You wouldn't think, right? And there's not going to, every card sent in is not going to be a 10. You know, there's a lot, especially like collectible card games, because, you know, how many people played without sleeves, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, I figure Pokemon might be, Pokemon's a funny one because it was for kids. So I don't know exactly what the, how many, because when Pokemon came out, I believe sleeves were out, or it was pretty soon after that. Do you remember how many? What do you say? It was Charizards worth three hundred thousand dollars or whatever. Yeah, if it's a great attempt. How many jacked up Charizards there are? Oh, I'm sure. There. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's like because there's kids that probably didn't give a shit about. Oh yeah. You know, but there also were plenty of people who were seeing the value in them because magic was valuable. Right. You know, so I'm I'm curious how that'll end up working out. But you know, there's like some of the sports cards now. I saw. I watched the thing yesterday. One of these accounts that I follow. They did a pack opening, and they hit a card of a, a oh, was it a UFC guy? I think it was. I don't remember who it was, but it's one of one. So if oh, this guy's geez. any good, that card's going to be worth huge money, even if it's graded one low. Of one, yeah, even if that card is graded like a four, it's the only one in existence. So a four is That's literally a ten. Crazy to me that the one of one, right? You know what I mean? Though it's like even if it had a shitty grade, it's like getting a ten because there can't be a better one out there. It's one of one. Yeah, for sure, right? You know? So. One of one is insane to me. They've been doing that for a few years now. Like, there was a, a baseball player named Mike Trout that one of his rookie cards, there was like five or something like that. And right. they go for huge money because he's a really good player. You know? So, it's like, again, even if you get a lowish grade, there can only be four more potentially better. That's it. Right. You know? So. Yeah, it's 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 such a weird thing. I'm curious to see where this is like 10, 20 years from now. I'm curious if this stuff is still worth all this money or if people don't care anymore. You know? Yeah, I uh I I don't know if it's ever going to hit the point where people just don't care. Right. That's the thing is like it feels I feel like, like it's too ingrained now. Yeah. Well, and like I said, the collectability of those 10s and 9s and whatever won't go down. They won't go away, yeah. you know? So, I mean, unless... Because even Pokemon, it's like... Even people don't play the card game. There's still going to be people who just love Pokemon. You know? Right. So, I, I'm I'm curious to see. Sports cards would be the one that would be my biggest fear. Because sports cards already has had... It wasn't that long ago that it had, you know... Like, basically, sports cards were worthless. You know? The only reason yeah, that they came a, it back seemed is, like it went a long time. For them yeah, like that. and and it only is recently that it's come back, but and that's because of all the you know the Bitcoin money out there. A lot of those Bitcoin right. people started buying sports cards, Pokemon cards, Magic cards. Oh, you Bitcoiners, you! And you f- fucked up everything collectible, basically. Pops, um, you yeah. know. <laughs> Wild. So, yeah, like I said, it's kind of an interesting read. And I, I keep reading on this stuff because it's just fascinating to me because I've been in that world, you yeah, know, right. like I've dealt those things. I've sold those things. I've bought and sold and speculated on all those things. And it's never been like it is right now. Yeah, it is weird, isn't it? Yeah. Like I couldn't, I could, you just can't afford it now compared to, you know, like I said, when my bro- brother and I were buying and selling sports cards, you could buy a, thir- a box of 36 packs for like, you know, 30 to 50 bucks yeah. up to a hundred dollars. Now it's like, dude, you get like a pack or a box with like six packs in it and it's like 30 bucks. Yeah. That's crazy to me. You know? And now granted you might hit like that one of one card and that's going to be worth a buttload of money probably, but your odds are tiny, you know? So, and the packs don't contain, like, the packs used to contain, like, 15 cards. You know, they contain way less than that now, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. it's, and there's different tiers of the cards and stuff now, too. It's 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 a, such a whole, such a different beast. It is a different world. It really is, yeah. <clears throat> it's weird, because, you know, it'd be like if you go into something, and you're like, well, this is familiar to me, but this isn't exactly what I thought, you know. This isn't how I remember it, you know. Yeah, the old I have no memory of this place. Yeah, and this is not my beautiful wife. 
you know. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> crazy. That's all I got for the week. I don't know if you have anything else or not. Nah, that's that's what I got too, my guy. All right then, let's let's do a Q and A W A. Oh God! You're right yes, there. the old Q to Dubs. Boom. So last week we asked you guys, "What do you think is wait? Yeah, okay. What do you think is the worst mistake humans have ever made?" Yeah. Survey says. On face page, Big Dev, he says, creating money to replace bartering. Yeah, that was pretty much what I was getting at, too, with my answer. I agree with that. Yes. Although, in fairness, had money never existed and bartering continued to exist, you know how it is. Like, when you trade, like, we'll go back to magic cards, right? Like, when you trade, you always value your shit more than you value the other person's. Oh, absolutely. Right? Just fuck that person's stuff. So there's going to be, still going to be elements of greed but and whatnot. But I, I don't know. You know, like, I think that greed's going to be there no matter what. But I do think money made a big difference in the two. Yeah. You know. No, I agree. Or in the world, I mean, obviously. <clears throat> Agreed. Yep. Uh, and then, I mean, that's the only one we have on Face page. What? I know, right? All right. On Instagram, Philip, he says self realization. <laughs> what yeah. he's saying is return to monkey. Yep. I believe you're right. Yeah. Mm hmm. But that's uh, that's Dude, all I got. Man. We need we need to write a philosophy book called Return to Monkey or some not maybe not Return to Monkey but something along those ways to where it's like we just all need to go back to our base instincts and you know throw feces everywhere and I agree. You know, eat what you can pick off of a tree or another animal. Throw, throw feces like it's your job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just saying. Yep. We'll just make some very. Oh, yeah very thin um metaphors and whatnot and that'll pretty much sell the book uh, yeah exactly yeah. right yeah like yeah, oh i get what he's what saying got, man. by throwing feces he's saying to let go of your problems <laughs> like I, I get it and we're like man. we're like no we literally mean throw your feces like not this has nothing to do with your problems like yeah, just like actual feces like you don't want that piling up around you you gotta get it out of the house somehow you know like legit fecal matter, airborne. Right. Don't give in to big plumbing and use toilets. You know. <laughs> <Big plumbing>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I got one from uh, uh, Cheeto, and he said the worst mistakes humans ever made. He said me drops Mike. That's not true. We all know you yeah. were shit onto a rock somewhere. No, uh, <laughs> ouch, ouch. <laughs> he says Hobie picks organized religion, atomic slash nuclear weapons, the Phantom starring Billy Zane. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Creed, a Phantom pull, right? He says Creed. Uh, sorry, Nickel, and then Baltica. How dare you, sir? Wait, hold on. Has he ever had Baltica? He has. Remember, he bought. He didn't have the one we had. I believe he had one of the other Balticas. Oh shit! Yeah, you're right. You know, one of their many yeah, fine that. varieties found at yeah. at superior alcohol retailers around the world. I'm sure. Yes, yes. Because Baltica is the Tsar of beers. Okay. Yeah, he's right. He's right. And the official Russian beer sold in a plastic bottle of the Salty Language podcast. It is the official. <laughs> Russian beer of salty language. Sold in a plastic bottle. <laughs> sold in a plastic bottle. Yes. Are you aware of Snapple and is now sold in plastic bottles? Yeah. Yeah. But they look like glass bottles? Yes. And the reason I know this was I was at Kroger, and they had one that was a, like a watermelon something. And I was like, oh, I'm going to try this. And I went to pick it up, and I dropped it. I was like, oh, shit, because I thought it was glass. Yeah. And it just blah, 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 off the ground. And I was like, oh, it's plastic now, I see. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of nice, but at the same time, I was like, huh. Yeah. Huh. Yep. Like, great. Huh. Are people going to recycle your bottles now, Snapple? No. Made from the no. best stuff on earth, my ass. No. <laughs> exactly. Dude, actually, I, I grabbed a, I grabbed a Snapple over the weekend because we were getting some sandwiches before we handed out to my, my sister and brother. I was like, new campsite to check out. Yeah. Which, speaking and of, you really were going to talk about that. You didn't really talk about it. I forgot, man. It's all right. All right, fair enough. It just, uh, to sum it up, it's basically just uh, packed way too tight, mm. 
for my taste. Uh, yeah. They want to get me a. They want me to get a spot there. It's not really my price range, and yeah, it's just going to involve basically just hanging out and drinking. Yeah, which you know I'm okay with to a point, but I, I when I if it, it, whenever I get to the point I'm going to buy a camper, I'm going to want to buy something that I can just actually go relax at. Yeah, that's understandable. Like buy water or something, yeah. you know. Plus, you can go, yeah. you know, Anywho. you can go hang out with Devin Camp too, you know. So. Yeah, well, that that that's actually a plus because I like camping with Dev. I've done yeah. it a couple times. We have right. a good time. Yeah, I just need something Anywho. with air conditioning. Then I'm in. So I mean, I that's fine. <laughs> Nature's air conditioning. Bro. No, 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 no. I ain't falling for that trick. <laughs> Fuck that. What now, was I talking it, about? I don't know. Shit. Um, I don't even know anymore. Mm-hmm. I, I got all distracted by the camper talk. Yeah. I mean, we fi- really could go back and find out what you were talking about. I mean, it is right there. But Yeah, it's unnecessary. It's all right. All right. You sure? Yeah, I'm getting tired, so I probably... You sure? No. <laughs> yeah, I, wow. It may, it may be, because I, I am truly baffled. Yeah, and I actually... I have no recollection. Like we got completely sidetracked. We did like, completely sidetracked, and that's my fault. Like, so. I, oh, Snapple. There you go. All right. We're I back. can't believe how sugary them mugs is. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, I got, like, iced tea and lemonade combo. The old Arnold Palmer. I'm like, this will be delicious. Mm-hmm. I took the first swig. I was like, oh, God. Yeah. And isn't I look it... at the bottle. It had so much sugar in it. You know, I found that there's every once in a while, you know, I'll be at the store and I'll buy, uh, what's it called? Like Calypso or something like that. They have, like, they have lemonades. And the yeah. other, uh, was it last month? I think it was. I saw, you know, they had one that was a, uh, um, like pink lemonade or strawberry lemonade. Something. I was like, oh, that sounds amazing. You know, I get home, throw it in the fridge. A little bit later, go to drink it. The first drink, I'm like, oh, my God, there's so much sugar in this. And yeah, I was like, whoo. I mean, I, I had to cut it, you know. So what I did was I just flavored my water with it <laughs> instead of drinking it straight, you know. I mean, I that's, a, that's the move. Yeah. And it was like, whoo. And it's like, boy, I can, you know, you can certainly tell you're not 20 anymore. Yeah, you know, exactly right. Like I, my palate just does not want that much sweet in, oh, you know, God, in so, a drink. So much. Yeah. So I was like, "Ooh, okay. Well, I guess if I'm gonna have lemonade, I need to get some, get the stuff, and just make my own lemonade at home, or buy like a Mio lemonade or something, where I can just kind of flavor my Accurate. my drink a little bit with it, to where it's like, oh, this is lemonade ish, and that's good enough. Yeah. You know. Accurate. Because I certainly don't want, like, I, I will say this, with the exception of one thing, which is if we were at a fair and I saw a lemon shake-up stand, I'm all in on the lemon shake-up. Right. And I'm sure it's going to be sugary as hell, but I'm going to have one, you know. And then probably be like, okay, that's enough sugar for a month. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. You'd be buzzing <laughs> for weeks. Yeah, probably. But, uh, yeah, otherwise. Anywho. No, nah, I'm good. But, yeah, so. All right. Well, that was QW. that was last week's Q of the W. Um, let's see what we got for this week. One through twelve. I feel like there were twelve mm. last week. I didn't add any, so I might have forgot well, to we'll, delete. We'll one. go three. Then. How about that? All right. Oh, this is one. Uh, this is one you suggested a while ago. Oh. Do you do you have any clue what it is? No idea. <laughs> All right. If Seinfeld is picking you up for comedians and cars getting coffee, what car would he choose for you? Gotcha. That's a good one. Oh, man. What he, car would I want Seinfeld to pick me up in? Because he tries to pick cars that go with the person's personality a little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Accurate. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, if he's if he's trying to match personalities, he's going to pick me up in probably like an 84 shitbox. <laughs> I'm just guessing. Which, which car company <laughs> makes that? I don't remember. Any of them? Yeah. Um... Any of them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All I care about is, does it have working AC? No. Um, yeah, exactly. No, which wouldn't even be on because, you know, y- you're recording. You can't, you wouldn't be able to have the AC on full blast while you're also recording. Also true, yeah. So, I'd be, I'd be screwed, man. I'd have to have screwed. him pick me up in winter. Yes. That way we can't have the heat on either. 
if it, well, no, you need the heat on because you got fog. You're gonna fog. Oh, up that's true. Windows. I will fog the windows up. You're right. Probably Shit. fog up the GoPros. Yeah, I probably would. Yeah, I'd <laughs> be like, sorry, folks, we only have audio of this episode. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I think because I remember when I was, you know, maybe preteen or stuff, and I was absolutely in love with the Lamborghini Countach. Oh, yeah. Yeah. True enough. Yeah. So I, that would be a good pickup car. Yeah. Mine, I mean, if we or, go. Or an 84 shitbox. Yeah, way. or an 84 shitbox. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that it's an 84, you know, not, oh, yeah. not anything from like our, you know, our youth or whatever, but. No, or no. not, I mean, like, from the year we were born, I mean, obviously, that's from our youth, Durr. but, yeah, mine would probably be, like, if I'm picking, like, what cars I was just like, dude, it'd probably be, like, a 71 Mustang, like, you know, the Boss Mustangs right. that just fucking look badass. Yeah. Um. You know, because that, you know... Yeah, it'd probably be something along those lines just because it's weird because I'm not a car guy, but right. I definitely have a real appreciation for for um, the design of cars. And I have a thing, probably because we went to a lot of car shows as a kid, that I just I, I have such an appreciation for the old design of cars because now they're oh, yeah. all designed to be fuel efficient and be sleek. You know, like even the Mustang, the yeah, new Mustang. People Mustangs. want safety. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to have crumple zones. <laughs> Airbags. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Seat belts. <laughs> yeah. I, I want him to pick me up in Al Bundy's Dodge. That's what I want him to pick me up. I mean, in. that would be amazing, actually. <laughs> or the A-Team van. You know, something like that. Also amazing. Um <laughs> No, I, um, but there was just something different about how cars were designed back in the day when they were more boxy, but like the ones that had like, you know, 57 Chevys and those, they had like the big fins on the back and shit like that. Oh, yeah. Or some of the old sure. like low rider type cars. There's just something different. Like cars had kind of like a personality when you look at them that they, they just don't have anymore. Every SUV looks similar now. Every car yeah. looks pretty similar. You know, obviously there's variations, but you can walk into a parking lot and if you have a black SUV and it's night, it's hard to find your car. Yeah, good thing you got the little ding ding button. Yeah, like literally my brother has like a darkish blue SUV. We leave a store at night and that's how we find it. Unless we remembered where he parks, you know, because so right. many cars look just like his, you know. So, um, yeah, I, I just I, I just have this like fondness for those cars so it would probably be that or it would end up being some like famous tv car you know kit uh the delorean from back to the future you know one of those kind of vehicles ecto one with the sirens going fuck yeah you know like something something that as kids we were like dude that's so cool you know the car from starsky and hutch or uh you know even the general lee even though you know there's lightning mcqueen little problem (laughs) no tony that's not from our youth (laughs) what (laughs) Also, that's not real. <laughs> what? <up>, <laughs> yeah, you know, Boss Hogs Cadillac. You know, <laughs> yeah, roll around Big town in style. Big. F- oh, dude, Grave Digger. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's the real answer, Grave Digger. You know, I want him to pick me up in a mon- monster truck. Um. So yeah, I, I think that would be the way I'd go. It's like I said, like a '71 uh, Mustang, like the Mach One type ones, or or I would be. Uh, um, or some really cool TV car from fill in the blank TV show that I liked. Right. You know, a cop car from chips. Wait. <laughs> no, no, naturally. <laughs> no, probably not. Oh, the Ferrari from Magnum PI. I mean, that would be sick. The Trans Am from uh, Smokey and the Bandit. Take your pick, you know, Hell yeah. any of these, Hell yeah. you know, the Batmobile. <laughs> Might be a uh, Tim Burton Batmobile. Oh, dude, this if this is me, you know it's not that one. Mine has to be the um the Adam West Batmobile. Oh, you're talking about that Batmobile. For sure. I was gonna say, Brian, the anime series, we already covered his lightning McQueen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong on that, because I mean that would be my choice, but yeah. No, no. I mean I would love to roll in the the sixties Batmobile. Just because you know yeah, that I, would be cool. I put on my 
Robin costume and be ready to roll, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, I can't drive, so I'm, I'm going to have to just go, well, I guess I, I have, have to, to be Robin. Robin. Yeah. I don't have much yeah. of a choice unless I'm going to be like, look, I'm Alfred taking the car out for a stroll, you know? For a stroll, like it's a dog. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can't drive. Shit in the yard. I can't. I can't drive, so I got to walk it around like I'm, you know, a, a youngster with their bike crossing the road. You know? That's true. That's true. So there you go. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, so as far as people answering this, I don't. You know, kind of whatever. Like whether it's a car that fits your personality, or uh, you know, just something yeah, like, that's well, a favorite. Whatever car you'd like to have be picked up in by Jerry. I will say this though: if you if you choose a car based on like your personality, you got to tell us why. I agree. Because you know, just so we have some insight. Yeah. Or else, no. Yeah. Doom on you. Can you pick us up in a tank? That'd be kind of cool. I mean, Schwarzenegger owns a tank. Can you pick us up in a, a laser car? That would be, that'd be sick. <laughs> I'm not riding in the trunk, though. Oh, fair enough. So you're going to have to drive. We're going to have to put Jerry in the trunk. I mean, he's pretty tiny. Mm -hmm. I feel like I we could we overpower him. Yeah. All right. So there you go. There's your Q of the W for the week. Just in Perfect, case you don't remember it, I'll say it real quick. Well, one more is, uh, if Seinfeld's picking you up for comedians and cars getting coffee, what car would he choose for you? I mean, and you're going to get breakfast, right? Like, you're not going to get lunch or dinner, right? You're going to have breakfast. Seems to be breakfast. Well, little I mean, lunch, little coffee action. I mean, that's the move anyway, right? Yeah. Because it's usually some greasy spoon they go to, so. Right. Be like, I don't give a shit about the coffee, but they better have breakfast. Yeah, oh, amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Will that be problematic if I don't drink coffee? Uh, no. Right. I've seen people under not drink coffee. Okay. I mean, he'd be okay yeah. with me having some whiskey, right? <laughs> I mean, full <laughs> Irish coffee, right? Sure. There's yeah. just no coffee in it. It's just yeah, all no. Irish, baby. <laughs> all Irish. Ugh. I wouldn't you want bet a, I wouldn't want a whole glass of like Bailey's though. It'd have to I be mean, Irish whiskey. If they gave me a whole glass of Bailey's, I'm gonna get like 14 coffees to go with. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like I don't want a whole cup of Bailey's, but yeah. Or better yet, just for the sake of the show, I'll just drink cups of gravy. <laughs> yeah, now we're talking. Like, what can I get you guys to drink? He's like coffee, blah blah blah. But like, like, how's your gravy today? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of gravy do you have? How's the gravy today? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yes. Is it uh, beef or chicken? Yes. Exactly. That's important. I don't want to drink. It's important. I don't want to drink like biscuits and gravy. Gravy. Exactly. You know. They just tell you it's mushroom broth. Like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. That'd, that'd be my thing. Shit. But, but like, who made it? And the chef turns around, looks like, uh, oh shit, what's his name from You Can't Do That on Television? You know, and you're like, yeah, I think I'll skip the gravy. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're good. Can, we're actually good. Can you bring me something he hasn't touched? <laughs> and she's like, well, sir, under that that uh, restriction, I can't come back to the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Yeah. All right. So there you go. There's there's a program. I believe that's episode 508. It is. That is indeed a program, Brian. Yep. So head on over to saltylanguage.com. Click all the links. Check out the past episodes. Check out the enthusiasts. Hopefully we'll be doing some, at least one new one fairly soon. Hopefully some more to for a new season of those, as as I pretend yeah. we do seasons of them. Season, we're on like season 14 of that or something. Sure. I don't know. The yeah. next one will be episode 50, though, so of I mean, the enthusiast. Could. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so definitely check all that stuff out. You can find a link on our website to the network that we're part of. Danger! Watch your back! Danger! Tangibound Entertainment. Mm -hmm. so go check them out at tangiboundentertainment.com. Is that right? Yeah. So. I just I just completely blanked on it. I'm like, Durr. um, yeah. yeah. So check out the shows on there if you want to start a show. They're real good about helping people with that. And uh, last I knew of, they were looking for for new stuff anyway. 
And of course, oh, hell yeah. Tell Mark that Tony misses him. I know, right? Because, you know. In my dreams, in my heart. <laughs> I just picture you, you're singing, My Heart Will Go On Now. And, yeah, exactly. Know. I'm looking at the moon, though, and he's looking at the same one. <laughs> this is American Tale now. <laughs> goddamn right. All right, fair enough. Can't you wait to hear. Goddamn right. Can't wait to hear the duet of you two singing that. Um, oh man, it's gonna be beautiful. Mm-hmm. I already bought my big floppy hat and big red shirt. <laughs> yeah, I already got five billion. I, don't know I want you to do videos of uh, um, all of the songs from American Tale. Now <laughs> <laughs> you have to wear the costumes, you know, the full no cats in America and everything. You know. Yeah. Exactly. Oh man. All right. Well, if you want to reach out to us on social media, you can find us at salty underscore language. Wow, I just blanked. Man, I I don't know what's going on. I'm just, I'm dying, Tony. Having a, having a rough one, man. <sighs> yeah, on Twitter, it's at under, <laughs> it's at salty Jeez, underscore man. language. Jeez. That's all right. I'll clean all this up in editing. And uh, <laughs> cut, that out. cut that part out. Uh, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Stunami. You can find me at Twitter or on Twitter at Monotony and on Instagram at the Monotony. Mm-hmm. And then Salty Language is on, we're on all the platforms, really. Sure. All the links are on the website, saltylanguage.com. Just Google us. We come up pretty uh, pretty top of the list there, buddy. Mm-hmm. At least we used to. Got them know. SEOs working for us. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. But... Search engine optimization. Oh, yeah. That's right. I didn't know what it was. I just couldn't remember because apparently I can no longer remember things. Yeah, My brain is checked that. out for the night. It's done. Yeah. I was like, I, I got like, uh, I think I got two or three brain cells still active yeah. and they're not getting along real well. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Mine already went home for the day. Yeah. Because I got clocked out. <laughs> for sure. See you tomorrow, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ay. All right. So, yeah, I think that's all the stuff. So, uh, with that, uh, have beer, you'll be fine. Stay salty, people. And uh, have fun making your ma- your mushroom broth. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I mean, it's like an alone activity. but It, it doesn't have to be. You do you. It doesn't, it doesn't have, have to be. be right. yeah. yeah. You could do it in a group, a circle, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, into, you're right. <laughs> everybody into one target, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, no one wants to be the broth catcher. No, no, not at all. Not at all.